Yo, what is up? It is finally time for Dream Drop Distance Level 1 Critical. I have prepared a new Game Plus save file for this so that I could have uh, everything I need right away. Because I don't know how the hell you would do this. Um, not in New Game Plus. Maybe I'll try that again later down the line, but I personally say fuck that. My controller working? There we go. Yo. Noah with the 10 months, thank you very much. New Game Plus, only Dream Eaters inherited? And DEs. Who says that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> DEs. Oh, is this a tax return? Uh, yeah, the Dream Eaters and the, all the recipes, yeah, this. You carry over your spirits and also your recipes. Persona Q is bad. I can respect that. Opinion from downtown out of nowhere. I don't know, I haven't played him. I like the brazen in this though. Anyways, carry over your spirits, yes. Say slot 99. If y'all have been watching this series of me playing this game, you saw the 40 Kiba Tigers that this save file has. Let's get started. Critical mode. Missing Link. I want to stream that when it comes up, but I don't know how. Why 40? Because each Kiba Tiger is worth 900 money, essentially. So I wanted to have more money than I would ever need, just in case. You'll see. The first half of this stream is going to be uh, grinding, by the way. Stay tuned. Get excited. Because I am. I'll still have to do this, I guess. This thing, Link, is going to be on mobile, but I think it'll, you'll be able to play that on, like, blue stacks or whatever. Oh. I'm not healing on purpose because of that comment that says that Riku's supposed to heal me. I'm not going to heal anymore because of that. It better be true. Look at him, look at his dumb ass, he's just staring at me. He's not even staring at me, he's just like looking away. Full motion is allowed. Now that, uh, I only disallowed it for the beginner mode playthrough just for fun, but I desperately want to have full motion back again. I don't think Riku's healing me anytime soon. Page 3 moment. Riku standing emoji. Why does the why did they not let you cycle the command deck in this game with L2 R2? There's like no reason why they disallowed that. You have to use the D-pad, it's like inverted by default. Thing fucking sucks. Yo! Yeah. Look at this guy, he's just, he's stoned. Small mana. The 21, thank you. I like how they put Irisul behind an invisible wall, so the only things I can hit her are attacks that just go slightly through it. What a good feeling introduction to the game. She does stagger though, she has like cage through stagger endurance. Accessibility settings? I don't think so. You can reverse the, uh, the, the command deck, yeah, but you can't... I don't think you can set L2, R2. On PC, at least. I think that was a thing on... The, the console versions, but there are some... Between this and Chain of Memories, there are some weird... Uh... They didn't include that. Like, on, on, on re-Chain of Memories, you can't reverse, um... The deck cycling, like bizarrely, it's just not there. I don't know why. Yeah, there's like they, they don't have that feature on PC. I don't know why. It's very bizarre. You could just use Citra. I could just like hang myself. You ever think about that? I could just like jump into the river. I could just like. <laughs> I 
I can do so many things. response on my part. I'm trying to think, what I would... I think you would have less benefits to, like, just emulating the 3DS version of this game. You'd have a, a zoomed-in camera, you could get a 60 FPS patch, but, like, whatever. And then you wouldn't have the recipe menu bug, which is, like, the best part of HD. I don't know if I like this game more than three. I don't hate either. I don't hate you. How did I get B? How the fuck did I get B? Do these get harder on critical mode? How did I just get B? That's crazy. I'll do that again, but Jesus, do you need more score for that? You missed a big star? Does score matter for that? I thought it was just speed. Damn, that's crazy. Um, ESP zero, please. Let me look at the config. Next scrolling definitely reverse. Uh, that's not what that is. There it is. There it is. Not. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Full motion is officially back. I just did. If you didn't see it, a no full motion playthrough of this game. I only had to use full mo like four times. I'm so glad I can do my silly little moon jumps. Make an emergency save, or just in case, save. Yeah. How's getting abilities work in this game? You get them off of your spirits. You will see, because we're going to be spending quite a lot of time navigating that system in about 30 seconds. Oops, I just accidentally activated a tutorial. Okay, uh, two minutes. Yeah, I got zero XP on. DVD Cree tell the one recently, but discovered the recipe trick afterwards. Didn't go back to play any times of anticipation for stream. Yo. Getting Tommy Fiend. For the three months, thank you very much, and yeah. Get excited to see what this experience is going to be like, because I don't know what this experience is going to be like either. I've barely ever seen any videos of what this is like. I don't think it'll be too bad in the, f in the early game. It'll actually probably be better than a normal save file because of early game. Because of how grinded my shit is. Or what we're about to do. Accidentally activated the, t the tutorial, but it's okay because I have zero EXP on. I wonder if that... You get a different fight and you don't have to do the next fight because of that. Hey, you do get a different fight. Interesting. I think it's the same enemies, though, just with the tutorial on screen. It's crazy, even in New Game Plus, they make you do this. Um, spirit tutorial. XP Zero just shows up by default on Proud and Critical Mode. Yeah, I guess they... Even on New Game... On New Game Plus, they shouldn't make you do this because the game should know that you have spirits. But I guess... No, I don't think it's possible to initiate New Game Plus without having spirits. Maybe it is if you, like, fuck up your save file on purpose, but I don't know. I don't know how long this playthrough is going to take. I don't know what kind of roadblocks we can expect. All I know is that we're going to be grinding for at least two hours at the start of this. Maybe. I actually don't know. I'll be doing water barrel cancels. That can be quick or it could be long. It depends on how many spirits I need to fill up. 
Yeah, you can choose if you want spirits or not in uh, carryover. It works the exact same way here. Bosses will take chip damage until spirit roar. I might be able to get spirit roar early if I um, add extra ingredients to the recipe. I have the magic weapons already, but I think if I made another one in New Game Plus, I would be able to. Um, oh boy. All right, so let me save again. It begins. What button do I want here? It doesn't matter. Here's the real docket. I still have all these recipes too, which is nice. I can make another magic weapon if I want one to have um, performance enhancing drugs. But. Behold. These are our money makers right here. Do I have anything to work with? I get one of these. Why do I get one of these? I guess I have that too. Oh, that's what I have, okay. <laughs> Immediate disposition change, huh? I need 10 LP for each one of these. Can I buy stuff from the Moogle yet? Hold on. I might be able to make this go by even faster. Is there a Moogle? There's no Moogle. I might need to play the game a bit further. Yeah, I need to hold on. I need to get a Moogle to spawn. Ryu Dragon? Let me see. I don't think I did because I got Super Glide on the other save file, so there's no way I forgot him. You might just be blind. I can relate. There it is. Because that's super glad as well. Uh, let me get that sooner than later, actually. get Riku to show up for me to be able to actually have Moogles. Yeah. Yo, Utah with the gifted sub. I don't know why my alert... Did my alert go off for that? I, did, I just saw that. Thank you very much. Did, did an alert go off for that and I just didn't see it? Am I blind? It did? Okay. My bad. I just didn't hear. Thank you very much. My bad. We're not noticing. Let's see if I can at least get the A rank here. I think um, getting Dive Wing is still going to be helpful on level 1. Maybe. I am going to try avoiding using Balloon Root if the stats are good when I get all my spirits ready to go, but if it gets really annoying, then I'll use Balloon Root. I have no qualms with using it, I just want to see if it's possible without it, with my setup. Oh boy. I just like that Dive Wing has really good stats and you can get it along the way as long as you get A rank and everything, which is also worth it for uh, getting shit like that for free. Drop meter. Drop meter is overhated. There's no reason for people to hate it. There's an item that makes it not a problem, but people are like, oh, the drop meter sucks. Yeah, Thunder and Thunder are also pretty good, but Balloon is just really good. Yeah, Drop Me Nuts are free as hell. They really are.
Riku inherits Sora's realize after Xemnas? I actually didn't know that. So the game doesn't uh, screw you on the force drop, huh? <laughs> How about I give you a pro tip? Yeah, I screwed over Sora's uh, A rank because I didn't get enough score. I always forget that that's a thing that matters. <gasps> nice frame one uh, stun. That's uh, critical mode aggression right there. Do I need to turn on Zero EXP for both characters independently, or is it just on for both? Because I don't think I'd turn it on for Riku, but I don't think that matters. I guess I'll find out. Yeah. Okay, I didn't get EXP from that. Party members, uh, spirits will get EXP no matter what. Because the game wouldn't function without that, but Riku won't be getting. There are commands in this game that do compete pretty well with Balloon. Braga Burst being one of them. It's just, it's a two-slot command that's much more limited to get compared to Balloonra, so... Balloonra is still better, but... Braga Burst with Fire Boosts can actually be better than Balloonra. Okay, now I think I can get Moogles and shit. Why doesn't the door work? Right, I have to hit this stupid thing. <laughs> Why am I still spinning? You hear that? Infinite drill Sora in the background. What that tongue do though? Yeah. All right, now it begins. Like never. Got a blue menu. There we go. Yeah, what does that door require electricity? It's like not the way it's supposed to work. There's supposed to be a switch next to it that you hit. Dream drop distance, my beloved. Yo, fantasy. A dream drop distance lover. 21, 21, 20, 20 months. Not 21. Thank you very much. Not enough months to uh, to drink yet. Not enough years. Holy shit, it's Bergen Day. That's actually really lucky. I would have dropped in order to get it to Bargain Day, but now I don't even have to. It's just Bargain Day for free, okay. Alright, this is how we get the ball rolling. Check this out. I'm about to turn 100 money into 3,600 money. This first one, I'm gonna do the full mini game because I just want to make sure I get over 10, which is like guaranteed either way. But this is all the money I have, so I'm gonna get my money's worth on this one. Keeping it classy with the third two months, thank you. I used to think that balloon was water type, but then I was corrected and it's just neutral type, so you can't boost balloon as crazy as I would be. Like, I thought it made sense. I was like, oh, balloon is water type, water balloon, but that's not the case. I kind of went with a beat there for a second, you hear that? Isn't Balloon already functionally boosted because the neutral element is really buff and nobody resists it like Almighty and SMT? Isn't that why, one of the reasons why Balloon is good? Alright, here's how um, 100 money becomes 3600. Twenty-seven hundred. I did the math wrong.
And what can I do with that money? It means I can get, um... A lot of those. And then do it all over again. As many times as I need to. I guess I can get that too, but I'm not gonna be using these spirits. These are purely for money. So let's get four, five, and six in here. But now I'm not gonna do the- I don't need to do the full minigame. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Even a low roll is gonna get me what I need here. I could have used a mod that made this faster, but I thought it'd be funny if I did this legit and also the longest way possible and also on stream. This is how I did uh, the Dream Drop Distance Experience video, by the way. This is how I uh, set up for it on critical mode. Though not as efficiently, I think my setup right now is better than it was in that video. More thought out, since I already had done it once. Unfortunately, every time you open up their ability links, you have to sit through this animation of all the things exploding, but it's whatever. I have way more Kiba Tigers than I need. I just wanted to make sure that I would have like an infinite money battery for the rest of the run in case I needed more. So I'm just gonna do this like two to three more times just to make sure I have 10K money. This should be enough for like everything. You don't have enough Kiba Tigers. There's no such thing as enough. I did the math. It was like 40 times 900. Is how much money I have available to me. Wow. Wow. Dr. Scrunch with the 29, thank you. This one's red for some reason. Don't ask me why. I forgot how that happened. What are you gonna buy? Um, well, the big thing was buying more balloons. Or, uh, barrels, rather. So that I can use them on the other spirits that I actually am going to be using, so I can have their grids be full. At the very start. That was the big thing. And I didn't know how much I needed for that, because I am water- I'm water barrel skipping, so I needed to make sure I had extra money, so instead of getting like, 50 LP at most from doing the full 60 second minigame, I would get like, as low as like 10 for skipping it right away, so I needed to make sure I had enough. Barrel maxing, uh, exactly. And I got lucky, the, the Moogle was immediately in bargain day, so that saves money. I get these barrels for $64 instead of 80 So that helps in the long run. This one I got exactly 10, nice. Zentetsuken. Um, I don't know how good that'll be on level 1. Or what spirits I get that on, or how high of a level they need to get in order for that to be viable. But I do want to try avoiding having to use Balloon. I want to see how long I can go without having to use that on a level 1 with this, um... This setup. Is there any documentation on the LP ranges from Water Barrel? I'm kind of curious. I remember when I made the DDD experience video trying to see if there's like some compromise between how fast you can beat them like quit out of the minigame but I couldn't find anything that was worth it the Ultimania has that of course they do oops and another thing I was interested in doing with all that money was making a magic lap in that was already level 13 because all the all the spirits I brought into New Game Plus are level one just by right of New Game Plus, but I might be able to make magic weapons that are already level thirteen and can use spirit roar from the get go without me needing to grind. I might do that. I didn't plan for that, but I'll just make extra magic weapons with performance enhancing drugs. I 
did not swap out my spirits, whatever. Just wasted one. Who cares? Doesn't matter if I go blind, I don't need to look at the price tag anyways. Uh, is there one? Where's number 16? There you are. This menu confuses me sometimes. How do you give Spirit Ward a magical weapon? Well, the magical weapon has that ability by default, but on one of their dispositions. Like, specifically. What color ice cream... What, what category of ice cream do I need to give to them for them to maybe switch into that disposition on their own? What disposition even is it? I forget specifically which one you want, because there's like two of them. Where you can have Magical App and cast that on you. It's like either Spark Jockey or one of the other ones. I forget which one is optimal. Let me save before I sell all that just to make sure that I did this right. This mission two or three, but yeah, what was that called? I need to know the name. 1350. Uh, 13500. 13, 13, yes. That's how numbers are pronounced. How do I make... Meow wow. I need to investigate something. Rampant and vibrant. Accomplice? Okay. So what, um... This should be I actually can't. I can't buy it. Which one of these ice creams do I need? Is it... Stimulus package. It's the chocolate, right? If I remember... I remember somebody told me last stream when I was planning this out. Because, like, each one of these can change their disposition to one, two, three, or four. Yo, JP Boyser, with the 35 months, thank you. It was rampant and vibrant, right? Yeah, of course it was. I want to try making a magic weapon that's already level 13. God, you can. Is it all 13 or 14? I could have them. I could get Frog a burst. What's the highest I can get? 20? 13 for Spirit Roar? Isn't there a limit on high, how high you can crank the level? It's like 20, right? 21 is max. I'll just settle for 18. This is fine. Actually, why why settle? Hold on, let me buy more. This is going by way faster than I thought it would, by the way. Though we haven't gotten to the real meat of the grind yet. Try and evenly distribute these. 
Actually, it really doesn't matter. I'll just do that. You know, it would be nice. It would be nice if I had um, something that would boost affinity too. Does affinity help at all with like the stats of the spirit? Higher starter affinity or something? Oh, how much would an elixir give them? Accomplice disposition also gives a lot in haste and combo assist and protect and shell, but I don't want them to have that. But th those are way higher level, right? I want them to only use Spirit Roar, ideally, and maybe Haste, but I think that's a... That would be, uh, for something else. The Elixir is only, like, two of these guys worth. I already made the save, though, so I'll, I'll just load back if I need to. Haste is level 23. Haste is pretty cool. Haste isn't, um, I wouldn't hate to see Haste pop up instead of Spirit Roar. Anything else, though, I wouldn't be too, uh, fond of. Whatever. Whatever happens, happens. That is a really bad, whatever. I thought that would give, like, plus three affinity. 30 HP and one magic? Are you kidding? Yeah, I wish I could buy dream candy or drop me nuts. I can buy drop me nuts for like a, at least a plus one, right? I'll keep that elixir. I don't want to load back. I'm too lazy. I've got plenty. I've got, I've got money like crazy. I can't buy drop me nuts though. It's early in the game. That's crazy. Yeah, I can still get, um, affinity up on my own. I won't need to do anything crazy. Let me just buy some random things and see what they would add, stat-wise. Coliseum, maybe, but I don't wanna- I don't wanna worry about it right now. The minor optimization. I'm I'm getting, um, to compensate, I'm getting three stacks of support boost. So it shouldn't matter all that much anyways. That's why I have three of this spirit. Yeah, it doesn't really... Really, the only thing that is good here are those dream candies and shit, but that's not for a way later, so I'll just give them a... Uh, I'll keep the elixir in case I want to use it for getting my meter back. Elixir is still pretty good on its own. I'll just get a... Okay, just take that or whatever. I don't care. Yeah, drop me nevers would be pretty cool too. But that's like... I would only care about that if I were trying to get like the max affinity uh, plat trophy. It's already in Spark Jockey. Is that- that's not the affinity I want, right? Accomplice is what I'm aiming for, right? A- -E did I type- did I actually type A-E-N? <laughs> Am I blind? No, I, I typed- I- I swear to god I put an R. Y'all are gaslighting, that's an R. That's literally an R. That's an R. There's... Oh. Oh, okay, look at, the, look at these two characters. Look at these two letters, and tell me that they don't look exactly the same, except for like two pixels. Lowercase is better anyways. I swear to god, I, when I saw that, I was like 100% certain that that was the correct letter. There's no way. That's a crazy font. 
It's like when I played, uh, the first time I ever played Borderlands, I played it on like a 240p CRT screen that was like nine inches big. And I thought the bandits were named Bondits because the font was so fucked in those circumstances. So I like went through half the game calling them that. When I was like 10 years old. So I guess I'll just get another stack of, um... Of these. Because that went so well. What spirits are good for a casual crit run? This one. This one is goaded. What do I name this? Oh, you know what? It's gotta be. Y'all know. Hey, yeah. <laughs> that would've been good too, but... You gotta give it up. My MVPs right here. Which one is which? Oh, there we go. I need to recolor them so that they're different. Shibs needs to be black because he likes Karomi, and Renz is pink. I think that should be enough paint. Hitting. Look at that hitbox. Do you see that hitbox? Make sure you're painting the right ones. Oh boy. Okay, I did. <laughs> I I didn't confirm going into that. Spark Jockey and Accomplice both get Spirit Roar. Does Spark Jockey get which one of those um has nothing but Spirit Roar or I guess, I don't think you're gonna get that good out of it, but like... Which one of those- okay, both of those get Spirit Roar, but which one of those has less things that can also be cast? Jockey has Roar, Auto Life, and Drain. What, like, what level do you get Auto Life and Drain? That's the second factor, because, like, some of those are going to be such a high level that we're not going to end up ever seeing them. Drain at 17, life at 42. Okay. Accomplice has more buffs. Okay, so Spark Jockey is better. And Illusionist doesn't have either. Where is Ryu Dragon? These nuts. There you are. Overhated, unbelievably fun game. You know, I kind of agree. Maybe it's character development for me to say that, but I kind of agree. 
It's not a good action RPG in the same vein as something like Cage 2, but like, what it, what can be, honestly. It's good at what it wants to do on its own. <laughs> Jam's turning soft. See, that's the big difference between Birth by Sleep and Dream Drop Distance, because Birth by Sleep is actually trying to be a Kingdom Hearts Cage 2 adjacent action game, and sometimes it's really good and fun, not really good, but sometimes it's fun in that vein, but then it reminds you what game it is, if, especially if you're on critical mode and all that. This game doesn't try to remind you of that, it tries to do its own thing. It's also mechanically more solid, you can like use commands in midair without getting stapled to the ground and shit. I wouldn't say best JRPG, but maybe the best, uh, action RPG hybrid. Alright, last time I manually changed a, uh, spirit's disposition, this spirit in particular, all I did was tap its ear 700 times and it changed the spark doggy, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's see if it works. You can use commands in the air, but they have a million years of lag now. Not if you cancel. Roman cancel with spirits. My favorite mechanic in this game. Secret mechanic. I don't know how long it'll take, but here we are. Is Magic Weapon the only thing I should get for crit? Uh... Are you talking like New Game Plus? Like what do you want to bring into New Game Plus? Because I can recommend a couple others. Get this spirit for... Once more. Get... Three of this spirit... Or... Uh, it has a secret, um... Support boost. Get this spirit for a second chance. It's very free. And, um... Then get two of this spirit for the haste boosts and spirit roars. Yo, Ricky Ding Ding. With the 27 of tier 3. Holy shit. Huge tier 3. What the fuck? Thank you very much. Water barrel LP. Less than 49 is 11 to 33. That's a huge variance. 50... Can't read that. 24 to 72? Damn, the, the variation is crazy. It's definitely not worth um, getting points, though, that's for sure. Hell, not worth getting points. Especially if you have as much money as I do right now. Speaking of which... Super glide. Does this spirit have anything else I want to get for it? Meteor crash for Riku? I kind of want to get that. Use that on level 1, you think that's worth it? I'm definitely not getting combo master, who the fuck cares? Actually, R Riku could benefit from that in his command styles, should I somehow get that, but I don't want to get these disposition locks. Cannot be asked, though I do kind of want to get that meteor crash for the meme. It's crazy though, getting it crazy ass command that's like worth like 700 LP just for one character that I might not even be able to use all that well because of level one. But I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna be in this menu for a while just by nature of this challenge. So, look at we ball. Let me stock up on water barrels just so I can full send. Affinity gain level 3 drop bonus gives 50% more LP from training toys. Yeah, that I did, um... I was able to observe that, not 100% of the time, but I noticed I got a lot more high rolls on the spirits that actually had affinity, which would have been able to... I wish I was able to have dream candies popped onto these spirits that I fused. How do you ba how do you... how do you raise affinity? 
Maybe I'll invest in some spirits that I want to have um, gain LP faster and also use spirit or more. Don't you use like balloon? Balloon toy? Okay. I don't know. I'll, I'll try it. Oops. I'll actually like play this just because I only have three of them. I'm also going to need to get more money. Also, I already waved to the YouTube viewers. Is the YouTube multi-stream still working? Every now and then I remember I'm, I'm on there right now. There's like a little preview for people on YouTube. Is it even working at all? I think it is. The seven seals. I got shipped at three, at least. It's delayed a bit, that's good. I want it to be a inferior experience. That's by design. The whole point of having the multi-stream is to have people watch on here because I don't multi-stream every stream I do. This probably feels good as fuck as a dream eater, true. Rewards are finally on today, at last. I did see Dracula Flow 4. That's just 10 minutes long. That shit was crazy. That went hard. This is what you have to do a lot for the Platinum Trophy, right? You gotta do this over and over again. To get Affinity up. It's pretty... It's working pretty well, I will say. I'll do it one more time. How many Ryu Dragons have I, uh squeezed yet for sacrifice. I think I actually went through half of them already. Or maybe less than half? I have like 40 of them, right? I have 99 water barrels right now. I think that'll be enough for my grind. And if I get concerned that it's not enough, I can always just actually do the minigame, resort to that. But I don't think I'll have to do that. Oh, you know what I can do, though, actually? I have infinite, um... I'm actually in a scenario where I have infinite money, I just realized. There's actually no there's no scenario where I run out of Ryu Dragons. Because I can make more. <laughs> because of the spirit, um... The spirit menu bug. I just realized. The, the way that I just made these, uh... These magic weapons that are level 21... It's the same way I can make 40 more Kiba Tigers. I, f I didn't even consider that I could just do more of this because I am able to buy... I'm able to buy the the spirit ingredients that make me all well, use the menu exploit to make Kiba Tigers with the... the fucking... Uh, ingredient list of me all well. I can do that right now from here and not from New Game Plus. So I'm actually not locked in at all. St 
So actually I actually have infinite money essentially right now. Yeah, if essentially eventually I'll have to let go of the ones that I've already used, but like who cares? I am uh repopulating the Sahara Desert with tigers. So yeah, I'm actually set for money. I have infinite money, essentially, as long as I have infinite patience as well, which I do. Kiba coin. Stocks are going up. Kiba Tiger exploit's so good, I invented this. Did you know? So I could just make more. Speaking of which, I am gonna need... I actually don't need more money yet, unless I want more balloon, which, um... What are my spirits at? I wish the menu for seeing their fucking stats would stay up permanently, instead of going away three, three, four. I could get them all the way up to like five out of five, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Only six, 18, and 13 for... See, it's funny, the one that has four just got 13, the one that had like three just got like almost 30. Hidden stat about affinity you should know about? I'm curious. What should I know about? Affinity maintenance? Oh, so can the, can that meter decay? Is that what you're saying? Well, it's like Night at the Museum, where, like, if you let them escape and the sun rises, they melt into dust. And then get swooped up by a street cleaner, like, two seconds later. That seems fucked up. You have to pet them so that it doesn't go down. That makes sense. I'll make sure I do that. I need to make a Sigma edit out of the, the caveman that turns to dust in that scene. That scene goes hard. That man dies. I'm made of wax, Larry. What are you made of? And then cue the music, and then it cuts to that guy turning dust. Avengers style. I think I have seen a Spirits of Henry drop all the way down to 1 out of 4, and I was like, damn, what the hell happened? It's crazy. Night of the Museum movie game on the Wii? Probably the same night that I do House MD on the DS. 261 already? Damn, we are swimming. How hard is it gonna be to get a Spirit from 21 to 30 on level 1? Because I want that command. I want both of them. Burn. Does this spirit have hidden disposition um, unlocks that I should know about? I feel like they're holding on to me. I should be seeing that more haste. Or, took all of my breath or should I? He's going to pay. My breath means. Yo, Chaos Jack, with a hundred bits. Thank you very much. I almost said ninety-three bits. Accomplished and illusionist. Damn, I'm gonna have to cycle all their fucking. Affinities if I want every haste. I actually won't need every haste because both of them combined will give me all the haste and boosts I need So I shouldn't have to worry about that Because uh, these, these two are gonna be in the party at all times so that their powers combined will be enough. I won't have to do that Oh this one has it actually right here zero grow visa Okay God, getting this meteor crash is going to be so expensive, and for what? In Night at the Museum, would Ben Stiller get super strength if he stayed in there for long enough? Like, I feel like that's a 
lost over plot point in the first film? I don't remember that plot point. What? There's power scaling in the museum? Never heard of that. What is the what is the museum? Like some form of fucking like hyperbolic time chamber? I don't remember that plot point. What the fuck? Goes hard, I must say, but what? Oh, I'm 500 away from this dumb command that I want. But I will get it. Now that I know I can actually- I have infinite money, essentially, because of my ability to make more, um... More tigers on demand forever. I'm comfortable doing whatever the fuck I need to do now. There is something that will be annoying that I have to do, and I have to get three, um, fruits cats to change their dispositions so I can get support boost. That's gonna be the most annoying part. Uh, does anybody know what disposition fruits cat needs to be in for the purple support boost to appear? Because I, I need to know that. Yes, yeah, sweetheart, but what, um, I guess the next question would be what category of cookie do I need to throw at them? I remember going over this last time I was planning this out, but I don't remember what it was now. I think it was shield cookie. I feel schizophrenic talking about this. Type 4 green? Is that shield cookie? Those words mean nothing to me unless I know what item I need to buy. Sadly. It's a plot point in the first movie that the three original night guards get a boost to their vitality, which is why they want to steal the tablet. Oh. That goes hard, what the hell? Is that why they were old and dying? <laughs> Thought that was in the manga? Yeah, me too. I don't remember that in the adaption. Oh yeah, look, they're getting high rolls now more consistently. 27s. What do they get now? 20, 21, 19? Decent. Baka chocolate gives green eyes. Okay, we are on the same page. That is what I remember. That's good. Damn, you get lake points a lot faster than I thought you would. This is a very, very, very good strategy. see what abilities I have now that I've gotten these, just so I don't get extra things that I don't need. Alright. I have all attack haste, or magic haste now, and all magic boosts already. Okay, cool. Wow, nice. I do want to have a lineup of spirits that has attack hastes and boosts as well if I want to use something that isn't balloon, potentially. But I think uh, the fruits cats will have that covered. So that means I don't need to buy that. Or that, even. I can just save up for that, that's good. Don't need that, but I do want that just for the sake of that being that. I also would like to have a second one of those eventually, too. Uh, these spirits are going to be getting a shitload of link points by right of being in the party at all times, so I don't need to worry about them anymore, I think. Might as well pick that up for fun. Who knows if I need to screen dark.
I'll keep Ryu Dragon because I want this stupid command. What is this? What is this? Mega Flare? That'd be good if I were grinding EXP. Combo Master would be really funny to have for Riku when he goes into command style mode so that if he whiffs like this game likes to do, then he wouldn't whiff, but it's not worth it. I do want that at some point. Get more money. I'm out of money already, but fine, because I can just do this forever. Yeah, this game does not need Combo Master, and yet it has, but BBS desperately needs it and doesn't have it. You can't even mod it in. It pisses me off. It's crazy. forgot to do, I forgot to actually get the command that I got this LP for. I need to do that for the other three spirits as well. No, it doesn't have, it doesn't have anything to do with the PSP, they just made a bad game. And then put it on the PSP. Does EXP boost in this game apply to spirits? Like, if you're on level 1 and you want to get your spirits to level 30 or whatever, does EXP boosting actually work for the spirits? When you're, like, low HP, does it give them double? But not you, because you're level 1 and have level 1 on? It doesn't? That's crazy. I'm glad you know, though. I don't think I'm gonna spend my money quite yet. I just wanted to have some in reserve. I also needed these, that's why I got these. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy 40 of these, save the game, and throw these at my cats. And if they don't change disposition, I'm going to reload the game and try again. Just so I don't have to spend extra money for no reason. Yeah, they are. This one's green already. Yo, this one's green already. Yo, Spondy with a 10 months, thank you. That's pretty big, this one's green already. Um, thank you very much. I'm enjoying it right now. I'm just enjoying the setup process. Wait, this one was already... No, never mind, it wasn't. This one was in um, Sweetheart Disposition going into New Game Plus. Then it switched it up again because it, it gets random when you bring him in. What is the green eye disposition for, um, magic weapon? Is it assistant? If it is, then I'll put them in just so they can have theirs change. Illusionist. So you're saying... This is the green eye one? The one that's blue? Wait, whoa, the, the portrait lies! Whoa! Now I'm the dumb one. My bad. The portrait, I thought the portrait would reflect the eye color properly, that's crazy. It doesn't. It, just, it reflects the color of their color when you paint them. Wow, that sucks. This game, wow. Okay. Now I'm the asshole. That's crazy. Uh, I wish I could only have two spirits in here just so I could make it so the only ones that need this will get it. Can you name one of your spirits Simba? Yeah, sure. 
Do I have any dog spirits? I guess Meow Wow is like a cat dog hybrid. In honor of De Nava's dog. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. This particular cookie can change them into green disposition. Maybe. Okay, it worked. That's one down. This is good for the LP, and I need their LP to be way higher. I wonder if this is faster than doing uh, barrel cancels. They're getting like the same amount, maybe. Did I decide that Spark Jockey was better than Accomplice for the magical weapons? You did? Yeah, I think I did as well. I think I did too. I worked like right away for one of them. But the other does not seem to be getting it. How would a cat walk with six legs anyways? Have you ever seen a millipede? Not quite a feline, but I think you can imagine. It probably walks something like this. I've thrown all the cookies. I've thrown $900 of- Hey, it worked! Right at the very end, huh? It's crazy. I was about to say, I wouldn't have loaded back, because the LP gains are good, but... It worked. Alright, so this spirit is here, not only because they have an insane spread of hastes, in case I want to use attack haste, but because of this support boost. Which will be a permanent unlock for all of them. I will just need to pump this later. You'll only need to do it once, though. So I'll do this as Riku later. This will be like the last thing I do. Let me just get all three of them and another hex extra 100 LP. Or maybe like 300 just so I can have their attack haste in case I want to do like an attack haste setup for certain stuff. So it'll only take like five barrels or something. I was, yeah, I was just gonna use Riku Duel Links for this, because Riku can cancel his links, like, instantaneously. And then the spirits will get back their LP, like, really fast, and they can just do it again, but... These spirits, you only need to do it once, so I actually don't need to cancel them. Because they all have their own individual meters, so it actually won't matter. And I have an elixir, actually. So actually, I don't need to do any crazy, um... Meteor constant, uh, you know, meteor constipation. 
strats. You can walk through a door and regain their Link energy with a Riku Link cancels. Wait, are you saying that if you are Riku and you go into a command style and you go through a door, you get refunded like Drive Gauge and Gauge 2? The whole thing? Damn, what the hell? I didn't know that. That's really cool. The fuck? I did this during the no-flow-mo test. No, I, uh... I, I didn't walk through a door, I cancelled their meter. Like, as soon as possible. I didn't go through doors, though. And it didn't- they had like 99% meter after doing that, they needed to like hit something once. It was still really fast, but like, they didn't immediately get it back. Alright, so this was a massive success. Let me save again. Walking through a door ASAP does give you 100. That's probably... yeah. Like, if you activate it right next to a door and then immediately hold right. Yo, Dream Bomb, hello. Now, unfortunately, these fellows don't have it, but I have an elixir. I wonder if you can do that as Sora, if some spirits let you, like, move right away. I have that elixir, and I can also buy as many as I want, so I'm just gonna use it. Let me try something weird. What is Pog Groove? I wonder if I can, like, cancel that really fast. <laughs> okay, so that works. Together. I don't know if that was the same spirit or the other one, but yeah, that works. <laughs> Damn. This was easier than I thought it would be. I already thought it was going to be easy. You did not ban Balloon? I might try going without it as long as I can on level 1. Okay, this one doesn't have any LP. So either I buy another Elixir for 2400 just for 1 LP pop, or I fight, maybe? How long is it gonna take for this fella to... I'm buying an elixir, I don't care. Beat Julius? I might. I don't know. I have no idea what to expect out of the end game of level 1. I really haven't ever looked at what this is like. How the fuck did I get that elixir in the first place? It's just sold here for 24? That's crazy. Yeah, this 2400, that's like... Three Kiba Tigers? I have infinite money, essentially, because of the infinite amount of Kiba Tigers I can make. I don't mind taking the time. Or, not taking the time. I guess you know what I can do. I can just... If I'm gonna pop a Elixir anyways, I might as well. Do it on a spirit that I would like to have some meter. Ah. Together. I don't even think going through the door matters. I did, I'm just doing it because it's funny to look at. There we Okay, now I have a triple stack of thing- I have a triple stack of abilities that will make it so that Spirit Roar lasts longer. I don't know by what, um, amount per boost, but now we have them. We have them. They are had. Twenty percent? So sixty percent overall? That's pretty good. That's worth. Hell worth. What color eye do I want for Spark Jockey then for, um... 
Let's see. Oh, and I get Shib into Spark Jockey from Illusionist. Yellow. Or what cookie? Is it shield cookie? Ice cream clone. Oh, okay, here we go. This is going very well. Also a bit faster than I thought I would go. TBH. But I still have a lot of other spirits that I want to get shit for. So I don't know. I'll leave Ren in here so that she gets extra LP. She's going to need it, I think. And then, who else do I want to get stuff for? Got all the extra Kiba Tigers I have. Are you here? Oh yeah, once more. I guess I could start worrying about once more and second chance. Pear, hello. Actually, you know what? OMG! Up to the gang. Alright. Probably should have bought more of these, but... They'll still be good for LP. Why the cat's link go down when he reverted? I don't know. I think since I went through the door, and the game like refunded me for some weird reason, I don't know. It's either that or I cancelled it so fast that it didn't even actually go down. I only just learned that that was a thing I could do, so I'm none the wiser. Door refunds. I wonder how I wonder how that works, like how long can you wait before it'll refund you, or if it'll just refund you no matter how long you wait? In case you drive refunds, you should test it. Uh, maybe. I'm just glad to put it out there that it's a thing. Somebody in the YouTube comments for this archive will do it. Guarantee that. Especially now that I've said that. They are not changing disposition. By they, I mean Shib. Shib's the only one that needs to change disposition. It's okay, because they're all still getting LP, which I also need, so it's not a waste or anything. Petting. Uh, I remember getting a magic lap in to go into Spark Jockey, and that was about as long and painful a process. But I'll try that. It was like the ear, right? They're currently an illusionist. At least I'm getting Affinity up. That also is, uh, 
Oh, something just happened. Accomplice. You know, I think that's good enough. That, that, that That's a spirit roar adjacent. They'll also give me haste. I like that, actually. I think I like that better. That works. I'll take that. I'm not gonna... I don't want to spend any longer having to do that. I'll, that's fine for me. Yeah, that is... That's not only good enough, I think that's genuinely just... Maybe even better have one that can give me spirit roar and haste and have the other one just give me a... Hey, he has a, he has a secret uh, route as well. Secret hastes. Even better. How nice. I'll just get these even though... I have enough just in case I switch one out for attack hastes. They'll still have all five magic hastes. That's pretty good. I'll just leave the LP for now in case I want to save it on something. Now this spirit might be a pain in the ass to get this once more because it's uh, however many LP across the board plus a link 5, but I should be able to cancel it really fast. Assuming I get the LP. So let's change party. Get that Ryu Dragon back for that stupid uh, meteor crash, put this guy in just for one ability that I'll be able to get instantly. Do this real quick. This is such an S tier spirit for this one alone. 20 LP, second chance for free. And that's all you need. one of these so that um if I do want to have like some Riku attack command deck and I want it to be viable I'll have a one of these because they have insane boosts for attack and magic actually. So just leveling up one of these just for a little bit. That'll be good. We're making good progress on this already. It's only been like an hour and a half. I was expecting this to be like three hours. And if I somehow need more money, I can just make more fresh tigers. More than the 40 that I already brought into New Game Plus. Isn't that amazing? So fast. I'm just glad that I was able to have the magic weapons juiced up to level 21. That saves me a lot of time and potential deaths. Once I actually do get started. Because, like, even though it's level 1, you still need to level up your spirits. So being able to fucking... Exploit them into being 21... Level 21 with, uh... The Meow Wow recipe list is crazy. I might actually be able to get, um, Fraga Burst at this rate once I get them to level 30. That'd be a nice command to have on level 1 if I go balloonless, which I might try insisting on. To balance out for the fact that I'm doing this right now. Because I could have been doing DDD level 1 crit non-new uh, game plus. New game crit. But fuck that. 
half the reason this interest half the reason this playthrough interested me was this process I'm doing right now. I wanted to show this off. Because I did this a long ass time ago for the DDD video. So I wanted to actually show this off in the on stream. Is this salvation? Okay, dude. Not get any of these the level gates. That should be enough attack haste. Though I don't think the spirit has any attack boosts there on the board right now, but that's okay. Reload boost would be cool to get. I'll get that later. Hey, I got meteor crash at last. I should also get that, but who cares? What's this? Oh boy, what is that? Fraga burst at level 30. No. Oh. Why is this? This command is so cool, but it's like the only thing that can compete with Balloon but it's level gated. Great. Good job, team. Okay, well, at least I can unlock this. Now, can I do the spirit canceling with this guy? I'm not, I'm not gonna have the elixir, so I shouldn't even worry about it right now, but. Once more, I think that's a I think that's a command that I can sit on getting not a command an ability that I can delay getting for a little bit because I don't really care to get it right now. But I'm sure that there's gonna be a point in the game where I'm gonna get slapped for not having it, and then that's when I can go and worry about it. And by then, I'll probably have a better spot or more elixirs to go and. Um, I could just go get an elixir now. But then I'd also have to grind 300 more LP for this fucking thing. Do I want LP for anything else right now at this stage in the run? These two will get LP naturally just by being in my party, just for as long as possible. Plus she has 310 already, which is like an insane stockpile to have. Um... I think I'm almost set, actually. I'm kind of surprised that I'm almost ready to go. I probably am ready to go, to be completely honest. Because I think the ideal party would be something like this, so I can have attack hastes in the background. Or maybe even attack boosts would be better. Because I'm probably only going to have like one attack command in the deck and like everything else would be magic. So boosts would be better than hastes in that case, I think. It's only going to be on Riku that I have an attack command because of Meteor Crash is Riku exclusive. Who had attack boosts? One of these two, right? One attack boost. Per... Dream meter. What about this one? Let me see if I can get a... Oops. Oops. Hard to get that extra attack boost here. Not hard at all. And there's a reload boost right there waiting for me if I get that. You know what I should do? Go and, um... Grind LP with these two. And put the rest of those stocks into, um... Where's the other cat? How many more boosts can I get for you? True optimal party? I think... I've already... I'm more or less set for that, but I'm curious on what your opinion is for that. Because really, I don't think that anything more than, um... Two magic weapons with the correct disposition. I don't think anything more is needed, but I guess if you are talking in purely in terms of every boost that you can get, then maybe. 
Oh, you know what I should do, though? It would be nice to get fire boosts if I end up getting Fraga Burst. That would be a great investment. This spirit could, uh... Oh, this spirit gets... Fraga Burst at 25. Too bad I didn't, um... Level boost this spirit with ingredients. That actually would have been good to get. I would have been able to get them to 21, and I don't know how long it would have taken to get them from 21 to 25 on level 1. But I'll just get the other magic weapons to 30, it's fine. I'll just get two of them eventually, later down the road. Uh, yeah, fuck it, let's go. Circus Usa. I don't even think I've ever heard of or seen that spirit. Ice Rex. Most stat boosts, all haste, and each is useful. That's pretty neat. Does Circus Ursa or Ice Trex have Spirit Roar though? Ursa Circus. Because the most practical setup I see is two active um, magic weapons, so they can double the amount of odds that they cast Spirit Roar on you. Or maybe that's the easy way of getting a setup where they spam it and one of max affinity is good enough, maybe. Maybe the reason why I think that, um... Two magic weapons is better than one is because all speed runs like going to New Game Plus um, restart their affinity and they don't have it. If 3D didn't stand for Dream Drop Distance, what would it stand for? <laughs> Wrong answers only. Mine is deliciously Detroit Daft Punk. Dark Prelude, the five months. Thank you very much. I'm just glad that one of my magic weapons can cast haste instead of spirit roar because both are cool. <laughs> Dead by daylight. <laughs> DVD, DVD. Close enough. List of spirits, any you want me to add to the list? Uh, I mean, not that I can think of. I don't know what uh, exactly your list is comprised of, but you probably know better than me at this point. I've probably gotten way more than enough LP just by spamming this without thinking. Let's see what I just got. Oh, Zam. Enough for that now, I just need to do the links. Grab that. What is this? Combo plus? That fucking sucks. Yo, Ober Christopher. The seven months, thank you very much. The rarely used goofy stare emoji. I keep forgetting I added that. <laughs> Big goaded. Link gated mega flare. I could e I could feasibly get that actually. Or whatever that's worth. Would be nice with fire boosts. Even on level 1, it might still be good. Okay, I got what I needed here. Yes. I guess the last thing I could do is just cash in some more Kiba Tigers before I start playing the actual fucking game. I do want to get, yeah, Combo Master would be nice, because I do want to fuck around with Riku Command Styles. 
I want to make level 1 as fun as possible if those end up actually having enough damage to be usable. So I might actually end up getting that. I've also never played this game with Combo Master, so that'd be a fun experience to have that. I might as well get it, because this grind is not taking as long as I thought it would. I say, as I'm almost two hours into the stream. I think I've, I've been at it for an hour and a half. The first, like, 15 minutes was just set up. I really have to piss. I'll be right back. <laughs> I just realized. Holy shit. Okay. DDD Donald does die. I like that, actually. That'd be a really cool alternative game. They're fighting. I'm glad I numbered all these Kiba Tigers. It really helps see which ones need be juiced, blended, barreled. But yeah, we are almost ready to actually start the playthrough. I'm just topping off all the uh, things I'm able to cash in on right away at level 1. Oh, I didn't. Speaking of cashing, I forgot to cash in. I'm gonna make another, um... T-Rex, I think. I'm gonna make a T-Rex that's level 21 so that I could feasibly get Fraga Burst. Because of this. These strats are so cool. Bet y'all have never seen strats like this in this game. Oh, what am I buying? I guess I, I need more water barrels. I almost used, like, more than half of them at this point. But I also needed these. Here, let me, in case people haven't seen what this is and how this works. You see how I can't make a Tyranto Rex right now because I need these cringe materials that nobody gives a fuck about? Press L1. And all of a sudden, things have changed.
Too bad to dominate anything that raises affinity right off the off the get-go, but that's who cares. I don't have Ducky Goose. I went through my beginner mode save file, avoiding as many recipes as possible so that my list wouldn't expand and break the, um, the glitch. Super Carlton. I like how that question just set off the Nightbot clip. That like almost just about explains everything. Okay, so I need to level. That'll happen eventually. Is there a fire boost? Yeah, there's at least one fire boost there. I'm just planning out what spirits I'm gonna have in my active deck for the last stretch of water barrel canceling because I want it to be efficient. Corbin Graw, like the Hulk when I'm angry. Real. Uh, did I want this spirit? In my yeah, for combo master. And then maybe a bit of this spirit for the reload boost, because this might be my third inactive spirit. All right. The end is in sight. Ended up being way faster than I thought it would be, to be completely honest. Even though we've been here for an hour and a half, it's still faster than I thought it would be. I'm just glad that everything is working like I thought it would. And the good part is, if I ever need any money, I can still cash in on the rest of the Kiba Tigers that I have left, or even make more if I somehow need more. New Game Plus is in this game is actually kind of fun, for this alone. If they want me to do this, then I'll, I'll manipulate this mechanic to the fullest fucking extent possible. Benjamin. I can, man. For the five months. Benjamin man. Wow, I said that the most wrong way possible. Nice. Benjamin man. <laughs> Benjamin. You gonna fight Julian? Yeah, I'm also gonna fight uh, Leahy and Ricky and Bubbles too. I'm gonna fight them all. I have Julian's glass. The exact glass that he uses on the set, that he has in his hand at all times in that show, I have that glass. Yeah, exiting the minigame gives you points based on what affinity the spirits have, but even if it's a low affinity, you still can get pretty high rolls on it, like up to like 30 or something crazy. Way more time efficient than doing the full thing for like up to 50 or 60 at the most. I might fight Julius, we'll see how endgame goes. It all depends on how endgame, how playable that is. Yeah, I don't think affinity affects point gain either. I remember 
noticing that the ones that had dra dramatically more affinity would sometimes just get the same amount. I don't know, it might just be random. Like all things are in this game. Affinity gain drop bonus? Okay. Perhaps. So close. Two away. I bet I could just like tap. Tiamat? Can I just get like two points, please? I won! Why are you screaming at me? You know what? Just, just, just do another thing. That's crazy. Okay. Combo Master. First time I've ever had this ability in this game. Ever. Is this Fire Boost? I want this. The spirit is level 21, but it shouldn't take too long to get them to 25. Yeah, I can get that before I do anything else. for this. Is this worth doing the full thing as well? I'm just doing the full thing because I only bought 10 of them because I don't want to buy any more of them, but... This gives EXP and affinity. And I want the EXP. I don't know if it's going to be enough EXP though for this spirit that's all fucking 21, so... The 13th the best game in the series. Does that place it above um, Union Cross? Stabulous package. And missing, uh, not missing. The game's not out yet. And uh, all the other names that Union Cross had, and Dark Road, Dark Road, the game that nobody played. Oh, dude, check out my epic aim lab score. Was it even half a level? For this level 21 spirit? Let's see. No, <laughs> it was not. Alright, well, that's not happening. Can I at least, let me at least spend the balloons. Actually, no, I'll spend the balloons, but on the... Magic weapon, so maybe their affinity goes higher. And, and you, I guess. My hitters. This is worth it for the affinity alone. I'm glad I bought this. It's probably better to actually fight than to use this, but I'll take the affinity I can get from this. How long was Dark Road a thing until it immediately got shut down? That was like the shortest lasting gotcha in Kingdom Hearts ever, right? It wasn't like an update for Union Cross, it was its own thing. Or was it? That shit didn't last very long, didn't it? It was like an auto battler or some shit.
it's an idle game. Is there a difference? Game fucking sucked, I don't know, that's all I know. Okay, I'll do. Most positive Kingdom Hearts fan, by the way. The art style of the Etch Rhythm came from a Cage Mobile game. Did it come from original Coded? Is that what you're saying? I'll cash in on this later when I know actually what I actually want to spend these fucking points on. What else did I want to do here? I'm I'm at a loss. I think I have everything that I want. Let me just save and recap. I don't have Waking Dream. How do I not have that? I thought you just had this at all times. What? Huh? I don't have Waking Dream? Whatever. I don't have once more yet, but I'm... I'm only Link gated from that. I can get that once I do the Link thing for it. I do this very cool. see what I need. I've kind of lost track of what I needed, but I think I have everything I need. I definitely have everything what I need for the first couple of worlds. Let's be, be clear on that. I'm definitely good to go. I just want to do it all at once so I don't have to do this again later. I might have to dip into this here and there later just for random stuff, but I should be good for a while. This is my alternative, um, alternative haste carrier for attack hastes. But no attack boosts, unfortunately. Uh... This guy will get me, um... Braga Burst. If I level it up, which I don't know how long that'll take. Did I get the Gold Star for the Spirits? I... Gave them... It... It's complicated, I... I created these spirits with the Dream Eater recipe bug, where I use the ingredients for Meow Wow, even though I'm making Magic Lapin, and then I gave them a million of this material, because I was able to buy a million for another crazy complicated reason that I don't want to get into right now, but that's how I did it. Anyways, what do I need? I think all I need to do right now is just... Level gate this, but I, let me activate the other dinosaur so I can link, unlock the link for it. Yeah, all I gotta do is do that five times, which I don't have any money to get an elixir to get that full. Do I have more sacrifices? You know what we gotta do now. I'm almost out of Kiba Tigers. I better not spend all the money I get from them. Oh yeah, I'm uploading, um... Volume 1 of the Random Proving Ground streams tonight. I'm doing a, uh, something like Random Chaos Events, where I just combined multiple VODs into one sub-12 hour VOD. So a two-part Proving Ground stream is hitting the archive, uh... Tomorrow, I think. Because I want 100% that game, so it's gonna be way more streams than the average Tony Hawk game.
I wanted to buy an elixir, but that's gonna be like all the money I just got. That's okay, because I have more Kiva Tigers. I literally just want to buy one elixir to save the time of getting one spirit to have full meter so I can link with it five times. So while I'm here, let me just cash in on my last Kiva Tigers. So I only have like two left, right? Yeah. Fuck this menu. I'm gonna have to make more Kiba Tigers now that I have used them all. I wasn't expecting to use them all. But the good thing is that it doesn't matter because I can make more. And that I can make more indefinitely. Which is cool. Let me just check the spirit link on this. Uh... I'm so confused. Here we go. I need... This is the wrong one. Actually, no. This is the one that... Never mind. This is the one that I wanted to get a tiny bit of LP when I pop to this real quick. The money that I am getting from these two sacrifices is going straight back into dream pieces so I can get more Kiba Tigers if I need them, which I don't think I will. But it's just to make sure that this fund is indefinite. I'm just gonna get a 10 stack of these. That makes like at least four tigers each. Plus the ones I already have. But the real thing that I was doing was getting, uh, what am I doing? I'm popping an elixir so that I can get a link gate. Yeah, I think console version has all of the, um... All of the gimmick card spirits, and also, like international ones as well. There are some spirits that weren't in the Japanese version that are on console as well. Oops. I need five links. Let's go. This is the right T-Rex? Hey, that one didn't get its shit refunded. Hold on. I should not think this is the right one. I think I forgot. I did forget. Nice. I just wasted an elixir. I did. I saved after I popped the elixir. That's the best part of what I just did. That's really cool. Uh. Hmm. Do I want to make the fucking the rest of the Kiba Tigers now? I don't think I do. I think my brain is getting a little fried from doing indefinite grinding right now. I think I better just worry about this later. Yeah, I'll worry about this later. I'll just take the L on that wasted elixir. I think I'm done grinding. I think that's a good sign that it's time to start playing the game. This is the tiger that I actually want to- not tiger. This is the T-Rex that I actually would use because it's level 21 and I want to get to 25. Scared the shit out of me. But yeah, for now this is going to be the active party. Every haste and boost in the book. Now, what commands am I actually going to be using? Just walking around and hitting things. That's the real question. No! I got Thundara, that's pretty cool. I got three of them, holy fuck, okay. Chat, please, I am in pain. How long <laughs> until the game begins? Just in time. Professor Contra with the three months. We are beginning. Wow. It begins. Faced. There isn't really anything more I can do, especially now that I just wasted an elixir. Because what I was going to do is, um... 
Sheesh. Cancel a limit five times and then cash in on once more and then start, but I'll just do that later. Thank you, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Is this the right spirit? No, it's not because I need the one that's level three. Because the one that's level three is the one that is about to unlock uh, once more because it's I went this way on this one. So I will need the link with that one. Whatever, here, so I'll do that later. Once it actually has stuff. And now I have a. Look at how fast that guy just gained that LP. That was from my one attack. But yeah, it's time to begin. Man, now imagine if I had thunder boosts as well, that'd be pretty good. I actually do have a spirit that can get thunder boosts, it's the cat. I'll worry about that later though. It's already buff enough. Now can I get spirit roar on casted on me? I haven't had that happen yet. I'm not going to worry about min-maxing elemental boosts, though. I don't really care enough for that. Just as long as I have triple magic boost and, uh... The other one. Spirit War. Right now, I'm just trying to get this spirit to fill its meter so I can meter! So I can do the thing. Hey, there's a Spirit War. I see how long it lasts. You see how buff story is? Let's watch. Stop pushing me into the load zone. Will he actually do that if he has a chance? That was a long spirit roar. You see that? Should probably have cure. I just realized I'm level one. I'm about to die to a jumping Jerry. Where did that barrel just go? Excuse me? Ow. Hey, look, my thing got its thing. Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again! Thunder! Thunder! Let's go! I'm just fighting a little bit so that the T-Rex can hit one thing and then get the meter it needs, but he's stuck because they're dumb and they're up there. Isn't there a button to get them over here? There you are. I'm gonna get one spawn in like one second. Together. Together. I think that's all I needed. Where I'm actually oh yeah, I gotta go through the post office. That's what the next story event is. I forgot. It's been like two hours since I actually like played the game. There we go. I would have gotten that sooner if I used the elixir properly, but who cares? What is this? Oh boy. <laughs> Another meteor crash on. I already have that, so I don't, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, now I can get you out of the party for the other one. Alright. Play the game. I probably actually shouldn't have the extra t Ranto Rex because they're not going to be gaining any EXP for a while, so I should be using the cat for the boosts. But 
Like what passes am I getting right here? HP, fire, and attack boost? What passes do I want? Attack boost, attack boost, defense, reload boost. Fire boost, HP boost, magic boost. Or four attack hastes and a thunder boost. I do have like three fucking thunders on right now. I'll just do that for now. Alright. God, it feels nice to be able to actually flow mo around the place after a full playthrough of just walking on fucking rails. <laughs> that was really fun. Oh! Son of Pearl! That's the best new Martin clip. That's a new Martin clip, by the way. Oh. Yes. I forgot I added that. Rare. He smells so good. It smells really good. We're gonna get some, um, yeah. Benadryl. Hey! Yeah! Thunder! Thunder! Bury the Light was the reason why I made that video in the first place. Yo, another one! You guys broke into my house and threatened to murder my son if I didn't give you business. I don't know if I've said this before, but I remember when I I decided to finally make the k experience when I did because DMC5 SC had just come out and that song came out and I was like, oh, I bet this would go well with the Azora. Move himself up. And his two kids. And then I made the edit and I was like, well, it's time to make this video now because this song is perfect here. Because I made like a mock-up of like what the edit would look like with the intro to that fight. And I was like, well, it's time to make the video now. Bruh. That song is so good. Dude. Oh boy, my drop meter. I should fix that later. I'm still gonna be avoiding large chests because I don't want to fuck up my recipes still. It could fuck up the uh, infinite keep a tiger exploit. Dropping frames? Am I? No? Not me. Though I did see some streamers having issues on Twitch's end today. This is a balloon, I know this is a balloon. This is a balloon. See? I super god, why am I air sliding like an asshole? Super glide, asshole. Stop farting on me and giving me extra drop meter. Oh my god, it's times three. Dude, dude. Can I even buy drop me knots? Look at my drop meter, bro. Fucking Moogle and Bargain Day doesn't have drop me knots. What do I gotta do for a cheap can of monster around here? Three dollars and thirty-seven cents for a fucking monster rehab. Thank you, Joe Biden. Well, I gotta beat this boss really fast now. Obama. Let's go. I didn't mean to cancel that that yeah. quickly. God damn it! Yeah. Why are we in? Why are we boxed in already? Are we in the building already? Okay, you know what? Thunder. Thunder. I kind of want to die here just to fix my meter scenario. Yeah. Wasted my meter back soon. Let's 
This song sucks, by the way. Oh no, my drop meter has gone up. Oh no, my drop meter has gone up to times four. Oh fuck. This guy's not good. Look at my damage though right now. Here are for the win. I gotta I gotta beat this guy fast. I actually got a reality shift on this guy. What the hell? I better deal with a shitload of damage. I don't have cure by the way. I'm command grabbed. And dying and dead. Ooh. It's not looking good, fellas. The Spirit Roar stack. The Seven Seals. I wonder if these are worth using on their own. Who oh, indeed the finisher! You see that? Spirit Roar finisher though. Whoa. The damage just went insane on that finisher. Oh, it just whiffed! I'm pissed. What's up, baby? You missed the two hours of pre-game spirit grinding. I've never pretended that this theme doesn't fucking suck. I've been a hater since day one. I'm gonna wait until I get Spirit Roar to activate this. See how much Chaos Snake and Spirit Roar does. I probably have a combination of spirits that gives me Ragnarok, actually, or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, Spirit Roar? Please? No? I'm waiting. Together. Damage, please. Okay, this is better than doing a dry, that's for sure. It's fucked up because this game is more polished than BBS, but it has so many things that make it just not an action RPG like BBS tries to be. Like, at least BBS tries. I don't have cure. Fuck. SMT music mod for this game. I think it has the same uh, format as like KH1 and KH2. It could be done. What we really need is a mod for every Kingdom Hearts game to get rid of Rowdy Rumble because not only is Rowdy Rumble fucking annoying, but it also causes copyright claim issues every fucking version of the game. Every version of the song in every game causes copyright claim issues on YouTube nowadays, which is awesome. Very glad about that. As if we need even any more reasons to hate that fucking song. I really should suck it up and get Cure. Yeah, hold on. I gotta get that. Yeah, you can do new game crit in this game, you just have to explicitly deny the option to carry over spirits. So it's like... You gotta press the sucker button... ...after already choosing to play this game on crit, so it's like double sucker button. Don't I already have potions? Fuck it. This should do six potions. Should be alright. Yeah. Yeah, new game crit level one. I don't know. There's a bunch of ways to do level one crit in this game. It's weird. There's like four different ways. 
You can do New Game Proud level 1, because they give it to you on Proud for some reason. You can do New Game Crit, and then New Game Plus Proud, and New Game Plus Crit. So this is like the second worst way of doing New Game, uh, of level 1 Crit. The worst would be doing New Game Crit, but that can go fuck itself in hell forever. That idea. Oh, I got cured. My spirit cured me, and then I used the potion. God damn it. Bruh. <laughs> New game level 1 crit. I think it would, it would essentially be the same thing, it would just be a matter of how quickly can you get 400 medals from, um... Hey, chest. How quickly can you gonna get 400 medals from... Flip Rush to get this spirit. And then make this spirit with a menu bug. And then move on with your life. After grinding. I still haven't gotten Spirit Roar once this round, by the way. This fight. Bitch. How am I whiffing? The teleport attack. Look at my drop meter. I normally don't complain about this mechanic, but the fact that I can't buy drop me knots right now is kind of fucked up. That it's gotten this high. Rowdy Rumble isn't copyrighted by any valid, uh, people, but it doesn't stop it from getting copyrighted by invalid people, if that makes any sense. Oh my god. I'm glad I just used that potion. Oh my god. This fucking spirit immediately started swinging and made it impossible to use a link. They do that. If the spirit is attacking, you can't use you can't use them to link. It immediately came out and started swinging. P3 answer is mid. I'm so glad it's gone from reload. First of all, fuck you. Answer is the best part of Persona 3. Second of all, who the fuck is talking about Persona 3? First of all, I love the answer. It's the best part of Persona 3, actually. Thunder. Thunder. Back off. Yeah. Yeah. Thunder. Don't worry, it'll grow back. That's only 10 minutes. <laughs> Anyone who defends a drop minute should seek help. I don't think it's an issue once you have the ability to buy Drop Me Knots. Because once you have it, it's like, yeah, okay, you can just like pop a monster and then you're good. But it sucks right now because I can't buy them, even on Bargain Day. Yeah, the only bad thing about the answer is that there's no compendium for like no fucking reason. But a hypothetical Persona 3 Reload DLC that adds the answer would fix that, maybe. Yo, we turn on with the gifted subs, thank you. I'm wondering why I'm not getting spirit roar right now. Wait. Oh, nice. What do I gotta do to get a fucking spirit roar in these parts? <laughs> that was a crazy sound effect.
This boss is gonna eat a dick. Do I have any better commands than two Thundaras right now? Hold on. They're really tempting me to somehow get Faraga Burst this early on. I guess I could pull out a balloon if I wanted to. But I'm gonna try avoiding that for now. How good would Blizzara with two magic boosts be? What commands can I buy? Let's see. Time bomb? Why is that 360 money? I never understood why that's so expensive this early on. That makes no sense. Damn, even on bargain day, they aren't shit to buy here. Maybe I dropped to Riku. I could do that too. Oh, you know what I could do? Hold on. I'm curious if I can get a more useful link attack with a different spirit. Like a dual link. I want to see if I can get a Ragnarok or whatever it's called. It's really good, especially if I get Spirit Roar. How do I see? It's like stats? Yeah, dual links. Chaos Snake. I want to get a... They're not common either. I want to... How do I remember figuring this out? It was like... It might be a spirit that doesn't really even have good... Um, abilities right now, unfortunately. A bat. Chaos Snake, what the hell? I had one specific spirit that worked with, um... This spirit. Wasn't it the Jester guy? Actually, that sounds about right. We fig Didn't we spend like 30 minutes figuring this out the other day? Yeah, there it is. Thank you. The good thing is, he has no link meter, so this is gonna take five years, and by the time I get that filled up, there will be no drop meter to work with. You know, it actually probably would be a good thing to do just to let me drop, take all of the, um, you know what? I'm gonna make an executive play here. I'm gonna allow myself to drop so that I can drop to Riku with relay bonus and then just play as Riku for the next, like, four worlds because this drop meter is too much and Riku could benefit from the droplets that I am not going to be able to give to him because I don't have 36. It's not lupus, it's DVD. Yo, Exo Blitz with the 20 months, thank you. House MD, do we, what, what 7 TV House MD gifts do we have right now? Can't think of a good thing about the drop meter that you couldn't do without the meter, true. I guess, really the only, um... It wouldn't be as bad if there weren't enemies that raised your drop meter like crazy, like what just happened to me. Because I like the idea of it being there so that you can just give players who don't really care a nudge to switch between characters, because it's like a ludo-narrative mechanic. And then dropping knots exist so that people that do care about the mechanic can just like chug those and then just get on with their day. But the thing that's fucked up right now is that I'm not allowed to buy them, even on fucking Bargain Day with the Moogle. So yeah, I'm not a fan of the predicament that the game has put me in by not giving me that Moogle store level 1. But I don't mind it once you do have drop me because they're cheap as hell. But yeah, the game has royally screwed me here in this situation because I got hit by one enemy doing a sleep attack. Too early into the game. That's okay. Let's just see how many drop points I can get before I die. Inevitably. Or droplets. The first time I ever saw this game was like back in like 2013, a friend of mine who had never played Kingdom Hearts 
or I only really knew of it just in passing, was like, oh, I've got Dream of Resistance on the 3DS. And I remember him... I remember him going straight into Tron World instead of whatever the recommended first world is, like Hunchback or whatever. And he was like, why are the enemies so fucking hard? Because the game scaling is non-existent and those enemies are insanely high level. And then, like... He got dropped in the middle of the, um... Riku's boss, Riku's final boss in that world. And he was like, oh, thank god, I got dropped, because he almost died. And I, I, I look back on that now, and I'm like, damn, what a fucked up experience. He was underleveled because he chose the wrong world to go to first, and then he was like, oh, thank god, I dropped mid-boss fight, because I was so underleveled that this game was unplayable. Oh, I didn't really get many droplets, but at least I can get, like, that, or Riku. I wish I could've gotten, like, 200 droplets, but it's whatever. This will have to do. I wonder what cool, uh, command styles Riku will be able to use here. Who had my attack boost? This guy? Okay. One of my friends has only played Days, that's fucked up. The, the fucked up thing about that game is that it's actually kind of better than I thought it was. When I actually played it, like, optimally. I didn't put on my commands. Hold on. Oh, I have a meteor crash. Let's go. Forgot about that. <laughs> Ghost drive. I have Combo Master. First time I've ever had Combo Master in this game, so I guess I can just press buttons. Which is cool. Ah. Wait, did, did the command style just give me status immunity? Is that a thing in this game? Like Cage 3? I didn't get stunned from the, the floor thing that that fucker does. I'm gonna die. I didn't die. Hey, nice. Oh, this this style has innate combo master? Oh, that's cool. Thank you, video game. Didn't BBS have that too? I like today's besides the leech grave and that green nocturne that's fast as fuck. Okay, that mission is actually kind of fun because you can use a specific version of Blizzard that acts like a landmine and then you can blow his ass up when he runs into it. Like, that's the only thing that saves that mission. Leech Grave, though? Leech Grave can get fucked forever in hell. That boss, there's no defending. Very ambitious idea for a two bit fucking console. How do you get Zenta Sukun in this game? Hell, they're not worth it on level one, but I'm just curious. Why am I killing these enemies? I guess I wanted to level up these, uh... Spirits. Oh! This fucking guy. Did you enjoy your time in the, um... The infinite room of doors, or whatever the fuck it's called in Persona 3, the answer? Because that's where you, that's where I just sent you. You know who I should have in my party if I'm killing enemies? I should have a... Well, no, they're not gonna get, like, any experience this early on. I wanted to get... the T-Rex to level 25 for Frogger Burst, but they're not getting any reasonable experience from here. This is really just for droplets. 
Thunderav, Lord Kairu, Sarah Terror, Stagger Zeps? Okay, I don't think I have any of those. Is it level gated? Sorry. Thunder. Thunder. Thunder feels weird in this game sometimes. Good when it hits, but sometimes it just like doesn't hit when you think it would, like then. See my command skill on cooldown after I get hit out of them in the first like two frames of activation. Where the rabbits do, they do that. They just cast a double damage on me. Twenty-five on all boards. Okay, yeah. Too bad he can't get to twenty-five with um. When you give the maximum amount of extra fucking ingredients at level one, I was able to do that because of the exploit. Only just. Uh, this deck might not be good enough, but I'm going in it anyway, so I don't care. I should have saved my um, meter for this. Kind of fucked up. I think my third spirit has enough for the solo meter, though. Do you know what I could do? Oops. Oh, my third spirit does not have shit. Okay, cool. Time to recreate the video where I somehow didn't die. God, it feels so nice to be able to use full motion again. After banning it for a full playthrough. How did you hit me? Where even are you? How did you hit me from all the way up there? Fuck you. How are you still stunned? What is going on over here? Well, they just activated a reality shift for some fucking reason. Oh, he's almost dead. Check this out. How did he not die? Whatever. Riku privilege. Oh, this is deep. Because, um... When I did the beginner mode playthrough to set this playthrough up, I did Sora Stand first and then Spanish. Riku. Now I get to do Riku first and then give Sora the relay bonuses. Skull noise. Actually, it doesn't matter what order I do these worlds in now because I'm level one, so I'm gonna be low level anyways. Do you think it would be a good idea to go to one of these two worlds sooner so that I can get the Dream Meter that would give me Fraga Burst faster because fighting enemies would actually give them decent EXP? Or should I just do it normally? Prankster's Balloonra? I guess that would be good if I need to cop out and just use Balloonra, which I might. Just because game sucks or whatever. Let's try it. There's no harm in trying it. I can always just leave. Check the weather. That also would have been a good idea. But we're going in. Who cares? Nice. 
Ah, uh, wow, I managed to die. What the hell? I only got hit like twice. What's going on? And then I got A rank, but that's okay. I'll just fix that later. Wow, I actually got Amrick for that. Yeah, they got Balloonier for free, okay. Well, that's something. <laughs> Mini. Yeah, I wonder if that command is as good as it is in- Oh, it's this version? I forgot. It's fucking Monstro. Right, and Mariku, how could I forget? Oh, we're here now. I played this game like a week ago, how did I forget already? Okay, so I was just playing KH1J, like, earlier today. When you play KH1 and you're in this room in Monstro, are there boxes that you can push and break in, any, in every other version? Is that a thing? I'm going crazy because I was playing KH1J and there were big boxes that you could push into the water and break and they do nothing but break. Is that a thing in the actual game that we know today? They're like boxes, like right, uh, kind of like right here. You breaking any boundaries? Yo, dear make dear, the three months. I'm breaking my sanity a little bit, but yeah, I have no recollection of this. That sounds correct. There's like boxes that you can like push. There's two boxes that respawn every time you go into the room. If you break them, you can like push them into the water and they just explode. I swear they're not in any other version. Okay, you know what? Hold on. I'm pulling up the VOD, the, not the VOD, the recording from earlier today because they are. I, I was I was investigating. Good game, jump scare. Hold on. Hey, perfect. Uh. These. Hold on. This. You see this shit? Look at this. Is that in 1.5? Is that in 1E even? There's two of these and they respawn if you break them. And they move positions once you raise the water or whatever happens in this world. There's another one over there, hold on. Hold on, scoop a little cutscenes. Uh... Look, there's another one. You just push it into the water, it does nothing. You can't even, like, jump on them to get anywhere. So that was, um, what I was doing earlier today. Freaking out over there, because I was like, wait a minute, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, add that to the, uh, the iceberg. That and the, um, there is a, you know, the breakable barrels. 
There's one in Traverse Town in 1J only that when you break it, it acts like a chest when you open it. And in every other version, it's a chest that's in the blue trandy in the rafters. You know the rafters? You know the blue trandy in the cafe that teleports you by the candles that teleports you up into the rafters and there's a, there's a chest up there? In 1J, it's a barrel and when you break it, it gives you the item like a chest when you open the chest. It's very weird. In quantum mechanics. Thunder! Thunder! Oh my god, they're buff. Spirit Roar, please. Now. Ideally. That's crazy. Risky wins, is it? That'd be good. And bad at the same time. This is a level 20 world and I'm level 1, so... I should check the weather. Uh, hold on. Once I'm done doing this. Yeah, I'm using full motion in the level 1 playthrough. It was only banned for the beginner mode. Uh, oh, look at the damage! Holy shit, that's like times 3. What the hell? Spirit Roar is very good. Look at the damage. Look at the difference. Please don't die. Combo assist? You are shitting. You have times two, so I'm assuming it's risky wins. Ooh. It is. This isn't the good one, right? The good one is, um... What's the good one? The one with, like, the rain icon, right? Overcast, yeah. What's better, Overcast or level 3 Relay bonus? Because you cannot have both at the same time, unless you're really lucky. Bruh. Wait, the spirit cast mini on the enemy? Well, that's actually really good. If I had known what was happening. I just have walked. Hey, Kira. Do I have drop me nods, please? Thank goodness. Yeah, it's, um, the best is just flat six, right? That's actually, would that be good this early on? Or am I already, like, under the floor for that? 20% versus up to 6, and right now I'm only at like 3. So at this point in time, it would actually be worth dropping for it. Or would it be the other way around? Is the flat better this early on? With 16, 17? Oh, look at the damage now. Goddamn. Ow. Oh my god. Ooh, haste. Look. Haste. Haste is Riku in a drive. I'm about to die. The most fun that this game can be right here. When this happens. That was cool.
Can you get more spirit roars, please? Like, no. I'm really only fighting these basic enemies right now for the sake of maybe leveling up the spirits that I want to get leveled up. And also, I also don't have the spirit that I want to get leveled up in the party right now, so that's really cool. Why did they just spawn right there in front of me right now? The meteor. Hold on. Holy shit, Riku's fast when he swims. What the hell is that? Bro just goes. That's crazy. Here we go. Are they even really... I guess they leveled up once already. They started at 21. But they're getting somewhere. And this guy I need to... yeah. They have gained exactly one level. I need to get... their affinities. What's the max? Is it 6? Or 5? I need to get them to max. Eight? Nine? Holy shit, how do you do that? Is it possible to get them to that at any point? Or do they need to be like the star rank like I have them right now? Why do you have so many of the same spirit? It's because uh, they give me infinite money, essentially. Very easy money off of that spirit and the command that they get for 10 LP on their first button. They drop sacrifice for 10 LP off of their first unlock. That's 900 money off of the first thing that they have. Grind affinity by get grinding balloons. Okay. I might do that at some point. Dedicated balloon grind. Just for maximum spirit roars. Probably the best thing I could do for my damage output, period. Jeez, that guy goes. Look at this damage. This is nutty. Absolutely wild damage right now. Don't do that ever again. I'm warning you. Oh, pressing buttons. Yo! That's a good question. I don't know. Maybe next Halloween stream. That sounds like a good candidate for that. But not for this Christmas. I'm already kind of... Like, I'm already planned out for what I'm doing this month. Hey, I'll board with the 14 months like you. Don't do it! These enemies. This is actually like the worst enemy in the game. Coincidentally. I'm glad I'm fighting these guys like right away. <gasps> That's a first. The good thing is I saved like a room ago, so who cares? Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again. Never heard of that one before. But that's okay. That world is not worth doing right away, I don't think. The only idea behind going there was getting levels on the Dream Meter that can get Paraga Burst, but that doesn't matter too much right now.
This is all Sham's fault. I am curious though, how much would Balloon Run net me against these guys? I want to slam one against them. If I had Frogger Burst, I'd feel comfortable doing balloon Balloonless. So maybe getting Balloon Run. Using Balloon Run to get Frogger Burst would be worth it. I'm also in like the worst forecast to be doing this right now. I'm just gonna go to a different world, fuck this place. I virtually didn't lose any progress, just like one room's worth of EXP for spirits and not even a Riku because I'm level 1, so it doesn't even matter. Does not matter. How far is Sora? He still hasn't done the first boss. Nothing wrong with that. Can we get on with this little cycle real quick? There we go. Okay, I got the B1 cycle. That's good. Oh, I'm fucking that up. The early damage I could have gotten there, but whatever. Oh, really? Oh, here we go. Oh, great. Bay rank. I think I still got it. Maybe. I don't know. Nice. Hey, a free water barrel. Add that to the stack of 90 that I have. Some low balloon damage. I'm that much better than the rest of the shit that I have. The note, I thought that was my own. I love how everything starts off on cooldown. It's a very good mechanic. Oh, they, they do stack. I have Drain and Combo Assist at the same time right now. Bruh. Why am I fighting these enemies? Actually, you know what? Spirit Roar just activated. You know what that means. I do have Dark Barrier. I forgot I got that. I have two of them. I also have Rapid Descent. I got it off of a Spirit. I think it was- Magical Weapon has it for 10 LP, actually. That's where I got it. I wonder if this is actually getting substantial EXP for my spirits that I want to level up. It's kinda, I don't know. Thanks. 
holding off and using balloon. Only until I get Frogger Burst. And only maybe. My damage is already mm, very low without Spirit Roar, so, you know. Great. That did like no damage. What the was that? Can't get Dark Roll early? Where do you get that from? It can show up in like a... You can like buy it during a drop, right? And also from like Flick Rush or something weird? I don't remember. Speaking of drops and drop me nuts, I need to use one. Do spirits seem to be in the active party to gain EXP? I don't think this guy's gained any EXP at all compared to the other two spirits that are in here. That's crazy. I thought they would gain EXP in the back pocket. They do? Then why the hell is he so behind? I guess he hasn't been in the whole time. Okay, well, that's good. Underestimated. I want to level up a spirit to 25. Get a command that might be very nice to have. I forgot to switch my keyboard when I crashed. Oops. I had this when I crashed, but then I crashed. There we go. Okay, there's the balloon damage that I was waiting for. What the hell is that? My help. I can't believe it's only 8 p.m. I think I've been alive forever. Bro, bro. We are so back. What's about? Long time no see. My ribs hurt. Finals week? Have fun uh, not studying. Turn with the good to sub, thank you. I better not die in this massive fucking room. I've been alive for like a really long time. I'm trying to get fast EXP between rooms so I can potentially get a potentially good command. I wish Riku had super glide. It's so annoying that he doesn't go. Like, fuck. Come on, man.
this weird ass song that I don't think it's the worst uh, boss theme that this composer did. This composer did Untamable, this song, Gigabyte Vantis, and then the the Ventus final boss theme. This song in the Ventus theme is decent for boss themes, but the other two fucking suck. I don't hate this one though. I should not have been fighting there. Uh, I think the song is good for the boss in this world, but like nowhere else. I think it plays in a couple cutscenes too, but I don't fucking remember. I I am I think this is Sakito. Is either Sakito or Ishimoto? I don't remember. I think it's Sakito. I don't remember anymore. Stop. I have not been drinking water all stream. Spirit Roar, hold up. I got most of the balloons just went straight into the wall there. That was cool. <laughs> I don't know why I reacted like that. Spirit Roar plus combo assist? Look at the damage. This is such a crazy experience. You go from like nothing to everything, like all at once. I feel like Corbin is getting... No, he's just buying on the XP, that's why. I thought he was getting lower XP, then I remember he was just behind a little bit. It's probably not worth fighting for EXP in these earlier worlds, because it's a level 8 world. I'll worry about fighting in other, in other worlds, like... Uh, Monstro or whatever. Unless I randomly get double spirit or popped on me and then I will start scrapping. As well one experience. It's pretty fun. I unironically enjoyed grinding for two hours at the start of this stream. That was kind of fun. I'll be going backwards. Whack. Nice. Oh my drop, I need to use a- I need to drink a monster, hold on. I'm not a cure. I didn't have cure. Nope, I lost it because I crashed. That's why. Awesome. I'll just buy it again. Who needs cure? I'm gonna need it, hold on. And so is Sora.
How far can you get as Riku? Um, at this point in the game, I can do the first three worlds. So, Punchback, Tron, and uh, the other one, Monstro. And then you have to go to Sora and do his worlds. Because then you have to go back to Traverse Town. Same for the next two worlds, you gotta complete each tier as each character, and then you can progress again. I don't know if I take up nothing but sliding dashes right now, that'd be nice. I should have gotten that early while it was bargain day. Fucked up. <laughs> Come on. New Year's Eve? I don't know yet. Last- I- I forgot what I did last New Year's Eve until like a couple days ago. I was like, oh wait, I was in the middle of an arcade at midnight. It was like really weird. Of have all the places to be. The last, that was the first time I was ever just like in public. In like an arcade. I was like, well. Bruh. Yeah, this is a cool fight. Bro. Bro, will you stop shooting? That was like three. 30 seconds of just straight fire. Asshole. I'm just gonna wait until I get a buff and then I'm going in. Are my spirits even here when I'm flying? I don't even think they're active until I land. That's really annoying. Please buff me. I really gotta go and affinity max these spirits. It's gonna make such a big difference. There's no way their affinity is drained already. Maybe like by one level, but there's no way. But who knows, look at this. Look at how much nothing is happening. I did a lot of damage though, I'm glad I got that command. It's actually good, ironically, right now. Bruh. It's fast. Hmm. Is it is it quick to get it back up again? I guess I'll check after this. Alright, not. I just hope I get the RC, or whatever it's called. Oh boy. Will this kill me? It will not. Yeah, I'm gonna check. I would really doubt that it's gotten that low, but what the fuck do I know? No, it's four out of four. Almost full, actually. <laughs> nice mechanic. Very consistent. <laughs> I gotta get them to like 9 out of 9 though, that'd be cool. What's the worst crit mode in your opinion? You're looking at it right here. This is it right here. Yeah. 
Okay. How hard is it to get a little spear around these parts? What's going on? I evaded that somehow while falling. Harry, what's going on? Ah, I, I like fell and I couldn't do anything there. Fell off the fire, wind, whatever the fuck you want to call this. I guess pre-patch 0.2 would be another contender, but after it got patched, it was pretty good. But pre-patch, it was really bad, because it didn't give you any damage buffs. I think it was like half damage or something really bad. Oh, I cancelled that. That's cool. I'm lost in my menu right now. Please lock on, so I can see. I'm not getting any buffs at all, ever. It's probably because they're not active when they're, I'm flying. They just don't spawn in or something weird. Bro. What's happening? The funny thing about Reflect is that it got buffed twice. It got buffed like three times in the course of that game's history. To the point of it being as strong as it is in 2FM. It was really bad in 2J, it got better in 2E, and it got even better in 2FM. But that's also because damage scaling in general got buffed from 2J to 2E, and then I think even better in 2FM. So I don't know how much of that is just reflect or just the base mechanics of the game getting better. Because the only time I played 2J, I skipped every enemy, so I had like minimum damage, and the minimum damage is worse for everything, and not just reflect. So I'm gonna have to replay it to, to get a better opinion about it. See how good reflect is when you actually have some kind of magic stat instead of the, the minimum, because it doesn't work as well. Only skip enemies in PS2 version, vanilla version rather. Bro, what is going on in this fight? Yeah, some of it is the crit damage bonus, but like, in my experience in 2J, the last hit of Reflect that usually deals the same damage was dealing the same amount of damage as like the first like three or four hits that deal chip damage on purpose. That's what I was seeing when I played it, 2J. Like, limits in general and stuff had really bad damage across the board and it wasn't just Reflect, so I don't know how much of that was, you know system mechanics being fucked up. Oh, you know what? Bruh. How are you gonna grab me in the middle of that, of all things? I don't have Leaf Bracer. How did I not die? Hey, Spirit Roar! Look at that! Get over here, motherfucker. You're done. He wasn't kidding. I really do need to affinity max. I think that's next on the agenda. It's just too important. 
It's too good. The influence of getting buffs. Keeping Bulinra for now. Until I get something better. Or as good. Ideally, I'd like to not have to use Balloonra for everything. It'd be more fun to use Fraga Bursts because it's the only thing that can compete. It's just hard to unlock. But it takes forever to get. I'm close. And there's a move on these parts. Yo. Hello. Oh, four with the Prime Gaming sub. Thank you. New Prime sub. Appreciate that. Oh, Trevor Stone is nothing but sales. That's awesome. What was the point of doing the beginner playthrough first? Because this is New Game Plus, and I used that save file to get my spirits. No one's gonna get. I wonder how long this takes to get from four to eight. Can't even really see the meter going up right now. It has gone up. Oh, it's going up. This is, uh, this is working. It's not good for EXP, but affinity is working. We'll get there eventually. This is the fastest way to get affinity. I've never done this before. Hey, there we go. The thing about Trinity in 2J isn't necessarily the damage, but the fact that it's bugged and it will always use the maximum hint count that you got in the journal instead of the one that you actually got when you used it. So like if your journal says that your maximum high score was 500, if you activate Trinity and do like begin combo ASAP, you'll always get 500. So, like, you can just use it wherever the fuck you want, as long as you got a really high setup for it earlier in the run in the playthrough. It's bugged, pretty much. I think the raw damage of it got better, it's just the bug was fixed going into 2e. Because it, it still deals pretty low damage, even if you're hitting, like, 999. Like, it'll be multiple health bars if it's 999, but, like, each individual tick of damage is lower, I think. See how I look in this chair right now. I'm so fucked up in this chair right now. Damn, I've used every Kiba Tiger. I have to make more if I want to get more money. It's crazy. Or sell stuff. I 
can't imagine getting to 8 or 9 affinity. It's already taking this long to get from 5 to 6. This is crazy. This is fucked up. I'll, I'll at least get to 6. That should be a big improvement from 4. Maybe. Really all I want is more frequent spirit roars. I have no idea how long that would take to get. How long does it take to get from 6 to 7 and then 7 to 8? How are you sitting? Have you ever sat in a recliner chair? Uh... Maximum recline and your hands and like you're holding the controller above your head, behind your head. And you're like halfway down the seat. Yeah, I'm gunching. Oh, are you torturing yourself doing this? Because it's kind of funny. If I had more money, I could get to six. I'm so close, I have to at this point. The rest of this is for nothing. Uh, what does this do? Oh, that gives affinity and LP. Oh, I should be doing that instead. That's actually the best value. Oh, imagine if I was doing that from the get-go. Okay, hold on. That's the new thing I should buy. That gives affinity and LP. And it might be a little faster to cancel, too. That's pretty big. So I hella need money now again. I don't have Kiba Tigers anyway. You know what I need to do? This is gonna be annoying, but I'll just do this twice. How the fuck did you do that? Press L1. The menu's broken. I'm not gonna need to make space for a while. I've only used like 50 out of 99 slots, but yeah, I'll do that eventually. Hopefully I'll never need to get that many. I'm just gonna make two for a quick 1800. What's the point of the tigers? Uh, this. I can only make one more, actually. Can I have a throwaway tiger named after me? Uh... I can't type that many, uh, I can't be bothered to type on this keyboard anymore. I'm losing my mind already. Or else I would. That keyboard is fucking crazy. Simba's role in this playthrough. Simba has the earliest access to EXP boost if I ever need that, which it was useful in beginner mode. But here's why these tigers are here. This command sells for 900 money.
Look at how much LP. I'm not gonna need that much. I guess I can buy everything now, though. So we're so close. I'm just gonna buy shit, because by the time I'm done, I'm gonna have 300 million more LP anyways, so... That one takes the longest to initiate, but that's okay, because you get the best... You get Affinity and uh, the other thing. LP. Video games. Have I ever told you about them? So close to six. I wonder if it takes the same amount of time to get from six to seven. Because that wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Takes longer? Oh, damn. What, how much do you need for plat? Oops, wrong one. How come I just got EXP from Water Barrel? Is that normal? Oh, it's EXP and LP. Okay, that's normal. I was like, what? Never noticed it. Well, we're almost at six. I think I'll settle for six for now. So close. Can't imagine how long it would take to get to fucking seven or eight or even nine. Insane. There's one. Now, can the spirits affinity drop down back to like four? Is that a thing? Or can, it only, can the meter only go down just to that empty bit? Does the meter being low like this affect how often I'm going to get casts? When it's like, it just got to a new tier, but it's low. Meter's unrelated to maintenance? Okay, thank god. Okay, well that's all I can tolerate doing of that. No. Alright, we go back. Oh, I just remembered. Oh no. Riku's mini game at the start of the grid. terrible on level 1 or something, like it normally is, every fucking version in the life cycle ever. I guess we're about to find out.
Oh boy. Don't know what to expect from this. Oh no, so this actually gives you speed. Yeah, there are three DS emulators. Citra is like the only one. Ow. I said I hurt too much. Nice aim. Thanks, Riku. Oh my fucking god. Sister actually did fix the SMT4 uh, transparency thing very recently, finally. Not a fan of all this damage I've taken already, but whatever. I was supposed to avoid that. I'm not sure what I was supposed to do to not fly into that. Okay, I guess I need to be way further off to the side. Okay. Dude, I I couldn't like slow down or anything. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, the damage isn't too bad, actually. I'm just worried about this. Because I, yeah, I could not avoid that. I don't think. Or at least from the position that I got myself into. Like, if he does it right here, I'm fucked. Yeah, I was, I was supposed to do. <laughs> that wasn't as worse. That was not as bad as I thought it would be, though. TBH. I almost won. But I genuinely don't know what I was supposed to do to avoid that position. You can't just slow down. Maybe jumping? I don't know. I thought I jumped though. I was trying to do this slow ass first cycle again, I guess. Does it actually matter if I kill these guys or is it literally just about just doing a lap or two here? I actually don't think killing these guys matters, I think it's just about passing them to do a lap, okay. That will make this a bit better. Yeah, having to restart fully fucking sucks. But it's probably better now that I know. Ah, 
How long is one fucking lap of this thing? You think it's crazy. I can hear the Dante theme in the background. It kind of has a similar cadence. Let's try passing him. No, that's not happening. Maybe I'll just start staying in the middle and then maybe that'll give me space to maybe get to the side. So that was a little better, I guess. I only got hit by the initial. I think I can kind of react to it because, it, like, if he's actually going to do the closer into attack, he'll actually, like, get a little closer. I can see that in advance. Yeah, like, I can tell he's going to do it there. Alright, I figured it out. Just about two and a half hours of grinding. What's up, Gamer Shield, man? Thank you for the 27 months. That wasn't shit. I got memed the first time around because I didn't know what to expect, but that wasn't bad at all. That was nothing. That wasn't shit. Yeah, I was playing Nintendo Dogs for about two hours. Nintendo dogs, except you skip all of the mini games and you get points anyways or whatever. All right, time to play a real game. This this world is in risky wind or whatever. I have a 2.0 drop. Why is every world in risky rain or whatever? Risky weather. Critical mode has a higher chance. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Oops. Like how it's nothing but risky wins for the next three visits as well, or drops, that's crazy. Head to the city, I went to the wrong place. Yeah. Went to the bridge, not the city. Oops. Hey. Yeah. I was hey. expecting the first two hours at least to be grinding. So I'm, I'm glad I was about right. 
preparing. It was worth it though, look at this. Wait, am I in the city? I guess I am. Oh, this is a new area. Okay, I am actually I've made it to my objective. Didn't realize where I was. Yeah. Blender's too slow. Feels like it does about the same as everything else right now. Right, I have zero gravity and thunder. I don't even know what was hitting me. Whatever. There goes all my commands and my life. I think I was getting like sniped by something. Whatever. What a stupid finisher. I like this form, but the finisher is stupid. You just like become a ball of lightning and just like go like two feet to the right. Look at that. Thing fucking sucks. Rest of the form cool though. Bro, stop shooting. Oh, that's why I was shooting the bolts so you can't see because they're hit scan and they're invisible. That's cool. Bro. Bro. Okay, that wasn't too bad. The spirits that I'm leveling up are actually almost at 25. Well, the one that I need to get to 25 is at like what? 22 and a half right now. Fortunately, they're a little behind. I'm sure by the time I drop back to Sora, the T Rex will be back to uh, we'll be at 25. Have my revenge on uh, Sora's first boss. Who's alive? That was weird. Damn, it's like a full level behind. That's annoying. Yeah. Okay, so. Are you sure they don't get like partial EXP when they're not actively summoned, but they're in the roster? Hey. They do. They do what? Get partial EXP or full EXP? They just need to be in the party, okay. Just making sure. Oh nice, I have haste. Haste plus spirit or actually buff as hell. All of a sudden for like no reason. Eventually, I need to get um, Leaf Bracer 
figured that out a bunch. I could probably make a meow while that is level boosted. Just get his level gate immediately and move on. Do I need to go up this is Riku? I don't think I do. I don't, that could be a recipe. I don't want to pick it up. I don't want to fuck up my uh, menu bug. This is late into the run. Wait a... <coughs> what? <coughs> uh... <coughs> How the fuck did I just get in here? You can go back into this? I started dying of arena. Please kill me. You can't even pause and quit. Please kill me. God, these nincompoops are not going to be able to kill me in a reasonable amount of time. Oh, here we go. It just took a second to pop up. Yeah. Can win with great friends. I think I gotta go this way. Maybe? I don't remember this visit for a uh, solar sailor from the docks. Oh, yeah, I'm going the right way. How many droplets do I have? I'm only fighting right now on level 1 just because I need to get a 3 meter to 25. In case anybody's wondering why I'm fighting on level 1. Oh, I bet the boss is gonna be real wonderful in this world. Fucking Gigabyte Mantis. Shim commands aren't hasted when you activate them. Let me drop this 97. Let me hack this real quick. Droplets are sore when I have to drop back. It'd be nice. Weak to slow? That would be nice to have. If I find a move on the way there, I'll get that. Spearer feels like I'm dealing like times three damage and not just times two. It's actually insane how big of a buff it is. The stat buff. Okay, I thought it was a percentage. Maybe the wiki lied to me. What kind of a stat buff is it then? It's double stats, 50%. Oh, that's what the percentage meant. That works a lot better than I thought it would. So it probably goes crazy with a relay bonus as well. And also, overcast. I think I didn't just die there, because that would have lost me the entire room's worth of progress and droplets. That would have been annoying. Oh boy, it's happening. Oh my god, please. Yeah. <laughs> 
Dude! This is still, this room is still one room, by the way. I almost just lost it all. That entire room's worth of progress, because, uh... Devs didn't account for difficulty when they made the rooms fucking massive and have no checkpoints. Lol. Cage for lol. Same mistake. Devs don't deserve to eat. Lol. I'll get him. Monster, hold on. Wait, do I have dropping nuts? What have I fucking done? Oh boy. Uh, I don't have any fucking monster. I better be going the right way. Uh, I know where I'm moving. I'm good. I'll, I'll be able to get to a move. I'm good. We're good. Just barely. Don't follow me, ever. You motherfucker. It, it. Dude. That, that was almost really bad. He actually followed me, and then frame one to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've never had a close call like that would drop me last. Why is this shit times two still? Fuck. Stupid fucking weather. Critical mode, thanks. I did not need to be that close. Has the run been painful so far? A little bit. In some ways worse than I would think, and then in some ways better. Like Spirit Roar is stronger than I thought it would be, but then chip damage is already worse than I thought it would be this early on. Yo, thank you, Observer, for the 31 goddamn months. Thank you very much. But yeah, after two hours of uh, pre-game grinding, it's going pretty well. Are you going the right way? Yeah. Some more droplets while I'm there. This is always worth it, by the way. Yeah. 
I'm slowing down the turret when I shoot that. Oops. Tron really reminds me of that place in Phantom Menace where Obi-Wan keeps falling. I forgot what the name of that facility was, but yeah. There's a modded map for that in Jedi Academy. And I think there's also just like a dual map that's like just in the game by default that looks like the uh, place where Qui-Gon died. Spoilers. Cool. I forgot what Obi-Wan's name was, somehow. Or, uh, the other guy. The guy killed him. He <laughs> didn't have been thug, bro. It would, it would just be like one circular rail. Watch, I'm gonna die and I'm gonna lose all that. Okay. All that progress. I don't have Leaf Bracer. Like the one thing I forgot to get. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, you know what? I've had enough. I'm on PC. I always play these games on PC nowadays just because the PC ports are nice. I forgot to take off, uh, this. I'm just gonna leave it on, I don't care. Immediately at the start of the fight, just gonna throw bullshit at me right away. That's cool. I'm just waiting for my spirits to fucking buff me. They're really holding out on me in boss fights, I don't know why. Specifically in bosses only. Bruh! Bruh! At least they're level 21 and they actually have defense like crazy. Please at least heal me. Whatever. Normally these guys would have been dead already. And I didn't have to revive them and be a nightmare, but they can just tank that. They're like super high level. Oh yeah, I forgot I had balloon. Uh it'll be fine once I get a fucking form going. Or a buff or anything, please. Okay. <laughs> Critical mode enemy aggression, by the way. Your dream eaters tend to lose affinity for getting beat up the, f the hell a lot. That's last time I checked to see if they had lost affinity, they didn't. So I guess maybe it's maintenance. That's I wouldn't be able to actually see it. I didn't consider that actually. If I press retry, if I don't press retry, I'm gonna have to fucking back out all the way and lose all the droplets I got from that stupid turret. I'll just get that later. Hold and kill me. <laughs> Maintenance. Fuck. Oh. How how fast does it take to rebuild that? Can't wait to accidentally change your disposition by doing this, and then I'm gonna like jump off the Empire State Building. Well, you know it's time for me to do in real life. Please kill me. Oh. 
What if it like stayed? Okay, we're good. So if I do this, we'll rebuild it. Or is it just petting? It should be the same as petting because it's, it's building affinity anyways. There's no way they lose affinity that easily. to activate like anything. Hey, it was a healed me. That's something. Good thing I was, I was mashing triangle, that's why I just died. I like how I respawn with nothing. Almost is on cooldown because the game is made wrong on purpose. As an action game. Bruh. Can I like survive forever if I just do this? Or am I gonna get sniped? That's what's gonna happen. At least this works pretty well here. This would go so hard if I got one spear or that one attack would go so crazy here. Or a reality shift would be nice. It's only boss fights where they're holding out on me. You notice that? Mob fights, they're pretty reliable, kinda. But boss fights, they just completely lock up their input, their output. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on. Bruh. There we go. Getting my shit in cooldown. All of that with. Oh my god. What is this attack? Oh, nice. Oh, the spirit! The, the timely spirit roar! Holy shit! Okay. The tides have changed. They've not turned, they've changed. That was like right on time too. And now. I don't think it's active anymore because of the RC, but whatever. I'll take it. That, I needed that. Now I'm about to die. Okay. Yeah, 
That one's so hard. Oh, all of a sudden out of nowhere. Slow so good here. My drop meter might actually be a problem at this rate. Look at how fast this is. This time is three. Bringing, if it had more deck slots, it'd be really nice to have a drop meter in my active inventory right now. It also would be nice if I could get a fucking buff. Like any time. I kind of want to die. I think at this rate, I'm just going to drop and I have no control over it and it would be very bad to do right now with all the drop blitz that I have this is not looking good anymore yeah I, was, I kept walking on things I kept adding up my drop meter let's just retry and avoid those This stupid world is on a fucking the worst forecast right now. It'll make the game even harder. Seriously, what is up with my spirits? They are doing fucking nothing. Yeah, these things will make my shit go crazy if I let it. If I can get the spirit roars, this is like very easy, but I literally cannot. I can only get like one every like five fucking minutes apparently on boss fights. Like exclusively on bosses. What is that? Weird? <laughs> okay. This is very strange. Oh. The one full motion attack I'm allowed to do here will immediately get me hit. That's good. Oh! I was mashing triangle, I forgot. I don't leave pressure. I love starting every attempt with no fucking commands. Because I made the game wrong. Both command deck games. They're like, yeah, let's just make it so that you, like, you don't have anything, like, right away. Bruh. Hey, there's... Woo, we got drain. Woo, that's what I needed. That's what I get for not having both of them in Spark Jockey. That's the only buff I'm gonna get for like seven more minutes. Yeah, earlier when I got the Spirit Roar, I meant to go into Ghost Drive, but I misinputted. I don't know what my spirits are doing. This is very strange. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> I should probably change, I don't know why I have Thunder on. 
Yeah, hold on. Let me do something about that. And I'm also gonna use another drop me not just for the extra meter that I need. What are my spears doing? They are at six affinity. That's like so high. Not the highest, but like seriously, what's going on? Yeah, give me that balloon row. Yeah. This is so strange. Why is the load zone so fucking far away yeah. from... Can I even access the load zone? No, I can't. What the hell? I can't room save. That's... That's a first. How the fuck are you supposed to leave? Okay. What, is it like over here or something? This is a... Oh, there's a save point? Oh, they just... Was it just not there? Because I couldn't fucking... There are enemies up my ass or something. Whatever. Don't need it anyways. That was actually pretty decent damage for whatever this is. Spirit Roar. Too bad Meteor Crash is still on cooldown. I'm gonna die. That's really fucking cool. That was a great start. Oh, there goes my spirit roar. Hopefully next time it doesn't take that long for it to show up again. Whoa, there it is again. What's happening? True. Go through the sounds with 18 months. Thank you very much. Now, too bad my fucking... Meteor wasn't ready to go when I got Spirit Roar, well, that mechanic. The mechanic where you just don't have anything ever. But, you know. There it is. How are you gonna do that while you just cast a slow. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead. Okay, well, all of a sudden I'm getting way more buffs on me per attempt. So that's something. I don't know what changed, but... Yeah, the devs were so confident in their level 1 mechanics that they didn't put hidden benefits on the 0 EXP ability in this game like they did for BBS. Really funny. I should probably take off that flow motion so I don't step on that at all in this fight. Though the attack is decent if it lands, which it doesn't. Look at how I respawn and everything's on cooldown. Why does that happen? It wasn't even on cooldown when I, like, crossed the room. Because I died. It's crazy how that works. This is something I don't know about making spirits buff you, or is it just completely random and up to them? With no factors involved. This is kind of crazy right now. They're genuinely doing nothing. I don't even think they're attacking. 
just on their own. They're just like staring. Yeah, they're in their their dispositions are correct for actually buffing me. They just aren't doing anything at all. Okay, hold on. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, the cool thing is, my shit already expired. Even with three support boosts, it really doesn't last long, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. He jumped over fucking all of it. Trying oops. At this point in time, it might be worth putting the other bunny into uh, the correct, like the the best disposition for Spirit Roar specifically, because the other one is in a disposition where they can cast like seven different things, and it's not helping the case. Directly on top of me. You kidding? Cross a couple more times before I try adjusting the party. Look at my stupid commands, bro. <laughs> nice spirit roar right away. You know what I should do, actually? I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. I have a spirit that has attack haste. So that would make this much better for that one command. Hold on. And while I'm at it, please don't change this position for no reason, unless it's the one that I want. I wonder if I genuinely have been neglecting them somehow. In some metric. And like, doing this would actually make them cast shit on me properly. While I'm at it, actually. Do I have the food that... Makes them green. Oh, actually, I actually don't want to make them green specifically, but... That's fine. That doesn't affect anything. I wonder if you need to make them have, like, particle effects. To quote-unquote restore their whatever meter that I don't know. So yeah, this one is like particle effects, or I had for a second. Like this, or that. You think this has like some effect on anything? I sound like a crazy person. Oh shit. More haste. Okay, definitely room save this. Save point is like over here. I have to like get the enemies away from me or something. Look at this enemy. <laughs> they run 
almost faster than your movement speed, and they have like a two frame attack. So if you try to press triangle on them, they just immediately start slapping you. What an asshole. Also, that, that, that both of those commands just did nothing. I'm literally gonna die trying to fight these guys. Where are my commands going? They, they're Vanitas. They just had iframes during that animation. What was that? Bro, all I want is a save point. Why would you put enemies before a save point like this? Please despawn. Thank goodness. Okay. Okay, maybe that helped. Plus, I have this spirit in the back row, also doing stuff for my stats. Oh, I also have the belt keyblade. That would actually be better to put on marginally. Forgot about it. I got, even got that. Supposed to be magic? That'd be good. Would that be good for Meteor Crash? I don't know. I think that's awful strength. Still would be better, I think. I should have like three buffs on me right now. That's what should have happened like 10 seconds ago. Auto life! Okay. I can get down with that. I really do need to get that other magic weapon into a better disposition though. I shouldn't I shouldn't do what I'm seeing off of that. This is the first time I've ever had it activating DDD though, which is cool. Can't wait to get frame trapped. Okay. Bro, the camera is so dog ass in this fight. It's like recom camera where it's like in the ground. Remember that in recom where it's just in the ground all the time? Drain? Yeah, this is a problem. Okay, there it is. I swear to God, if you jump, it tried. Okay. You sit still. The gloop. This is so ridiculous, the absolute lack of output. I don't understand. It's ridiculous, what's going on? Actually, what's happening? I guess I got this. For whatever this is worth. Whoa, where am I? No, we're good. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't understand why I'm getting, like, nothing.
They're genuinely doing nothing. I guess that one is casting fireballs sometimes. And dealing like two damage. Like, look, do I need to be like standing next to you? Is this like cage three? Or you need to be physically standing next to an enemy in order to get like cured, like just what happened right now? Okay. Remember when I got this command as a meme, and I was like, oh, I don't know if it'll be useful, and it's like carrying the run right now better than balloon somehow. Oh my god. I don't think that's blocking, I think it's just their idle animation. They just stand like that. I should get a better cure. I could get that and leaf braces off of Meow Well if I used a, like a level 20 Meow Well. I'm just waiting for a buff to use Meteor Crash. That's like the whole strat right now. And slow. I'm not even looking at the health bar. I don't want to see how low that shit's going. I'm trying to stay just off the ground at most times because of this attack. Wow, they recover so fast into an attack off of that. That's crazy. What is happening with my spirits right now? What's going on? Look. What is this? What are you doing? Jib, what are you doing? Drain? They can't be they can't be doing that. Oh, there's spirit war. I love how the RC activated and they go the the, the, the boss went invulnerable. They they went invulnerable because I need to do this stupid shit that does no damage. They just wasted my whole ship because uh, this happened. They don't take damage during that unless you do that. That's really cool. I love that for me. That's great. That wasted my whole thing. Video games. Have I ever told you how much I love video games? halfway through. This isn't too bad right now, I just need to get another one of those. I actually have it not get invalidated by mechanics that suck. Oh my god. No! Yeah, I don't know what my spirits are doing. I've never seen them this unresponsive. Like, only in bosses, too. No! Real. I'm literally just gonna do this. This actually seems like a good strategy. Just wait. Real. Actual non meme DDD level 1 strats. I do need to heal them every now and then, though. Look at their health. Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again! Any, like, sentence makes that guy into saying, like, Dream Drop Distance or BBS or something. That'd be funny. Oh, the timing. See, that's the problem, is that one of the spirits is giving me shit that sucks. I need to do something about that. I'll do that later. The assistant disposition is not good for that spirit. Quantum mechanics. Oh. 
Ow. Oh. Editing out the two. That would work too. Just applying it to the whole franchise. I had a version where he says Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne has screwed us again. I don't know where that went. Oh, flashbang. Why are my spirits doing jack shit? Oh! I love casting slow and then the projectiles like do everything anyways. Bro. Projectile hell. How many times are you allowed to do that in a row? Eat my ass. That's crazy. Jesus. Okay. You're cool. Okay. Don't I have reload boost? I think it's a different spirit that has that. It'd be cool if I had Bozaga. I don't know how much better that would be here though. What are my spirits doing? This is insane. I've never seen this before. I was not expecting an output nearly this bad. What are they doing? Oh my god. Oh great, drain. Ooh. Is literally giving me chip HP back. It must be based on damage output. That was. How did I live? What the fuck? That was so not worth the damage I just took. I just cannot believe I lived that at all. I'm surprised to see Balloon do as little damage as it is. Relay bonus might actually be needed here. I got pretty deep into the fight earlier though, how did I do that? Was that like a health bar away? Oh my god, what am I getting hit by? Okay. Oh, oh I got healed too? Okay. You just see what fucking happened again. <laughs> Rip Bully McGuire thing. I need to fix that. It's still broken. <laughs> okay. What is happening? Is this just normal DDD behavior? Is this what like every speedrun in this game that has this exact dream mirror setup look like? I don't know what my stats are right now, I'll have to check. It might be like 17 or 18 at most. For both. I should put on something that isn't Blizzard. Blizzard fucking sucks here. Be cool if I had two slows or two cures. I just don't know why my spirits are doing nothing at Affinity 6. 
that's unbelievably bad how little they're doing right now, even though it's in like the, the perfect disposition right now. I don't think you can get stopped this early. I think slow is all you can get. Here's your issue. Oh boy. It's playing DDD on level one. True. I've already pressed the sucker button. Is this just how it is? I never would have imagined that these spirits would cast spear or so little. Unless you specifically call it out. And then you're in the middle of getting pelted by fucking discs forever because... Yeah, let's just- let's just spawn, like, 23 of these projectiles every time that they decide to do this attack infrequently. This is just how it is? Alright, cool. That's... great. Okay, go with the gifted sub, thank you. Well, if it's gonna be this way, I'm definitely gonna need to switch the disposition of the other... ...magical weapon. Alright, Shib. Gonna do this the easy way or the hard way? Yeah, I've got a Dark Barrier. Oh, Illusionist? That's not the one I need. The hard way it is. You gotta back out now? Do I? Like, all the way, or...? I can also die if I need to reset it. Mage? That That's not the one either, right? No, I need a... Is this the one? No. It's Spark Jockey, right? What does Mage get? Like attack spells, right? Not the one I need. I forgot what this one did. Worst case scenario, I'll grab the, uh, the food that does this too. Hey, there we go. That was actually the luckiest I've gotten with dispositions, maybe ever. I can get zero Graviza. Hold on. Alright. Parasol is affinity. Parasol is not even in the active slot. That was a success. Damn, is it like shitty question hour or something? That's crazy. Hey, swing dash. Risky wins probably is making things even worse. And you wanna know what? Look at this shit. <laughs> Thank you, Critical Mode. Thank you, video game. This is like data DDD level one because of this bullshit that's happening right now. I guess there would be no harm in drop spamming, I guess, other than the droplets that I have, like the 100 that I have right now for Sora. That might be the best thing to do because this is ridiculous. Just farm droplets at some later point to fix this. 
relay bonus is decent. Bruh, eat my entire ass. Can I get a... Off? Please? Hey, there we go. Too bad my shit's on cooldown because the game fucking sucks. Oh, and I have the other one too. Hold on, boom. <laughs> I have to take that fucking thing off. I have to. I cannot believe what just happened. Actually, I can. Maybe if I don't skip the cutscene, my things will be on less of a cooldown at the start of the fight. I feel like I don't have any attack hastes at all. That's what this feels like. This shit still takes too fucking long. Look at this cooldown, dude. I have five attack hastes. That's how long it takes. That fucking sucks. Oh no. I just don't step on that thing anymore. I really need to put on the bell keyblade. That was decent damage, I guess. <laughs> A late little disc. Hold on, let me fix my keyblade too. Oh, nice. That actually, that saved. There's automatic room saving here, huh? I didn't know that that was a thing here. It's neat. Recom, uh, yeah, Recom actually had that in every boss fight. Oddly enough. Any changes to your deck would, um... Save, even if you walked into the room and then died. Seems like that's a thing here, too. That's <laughs> pressing triangle, but okay. The bell actually does seem to do a difference here. Even just attacking, even though the strength is the exact same. Or did, I don't know what the hell happened. Tell me, this is spirit war right now? Okay, I can kind of believe it. Like, do you see the damage that just happened? What the hell is that? I think we're getting somewhere. And why did they make the fucking command menu so bad in this game? Why? Why can't I just L2 R2? Like BBS, why did they get rid of that? Why? I don't understand. I'll never understand. Or if they don't. Spirit Roar goes away during this, by the way. Do you know that? I can't remember the last time I did a recon on stream. I think it was when I did the, um, the New Game Plus thing. Like the mod that made it seem like New Game Plus. That was a while ago, though. Holy timely heal, what the hell? It's 
Spear Roar. Timely Spear Roar. Okay. Things are falling into place now. I got frame trapped by the fucking projectiles that you're not allowed to see. But we're getting there. I think on console you had the option to bring it back to L2 R2 cycling, but for some reason that option is not a thing on PC, just like reversing the deck cycling and recom. Oh boy, here we go. I like how these discs are allowed to spawn so far away from each other that pressing square doesn't combo the guard and you just die. Because it's like spaced and you get frame trapped. Maybe I shouldn't lock on. What is it, like Dark Souls strats? Don't lock on. Nice. This might be the worst projectile in the entire franchise that you can get hit by. The camera converges perfectly so that they're completely horizontal and impossible to see, especially on the 3DS's resolution. What were they cooking? Bro, what's going on? Oh, they get hit with Oh, good thing my command just went on cooldown. Because I just got Spear Roar. Okay. still shooting. The boss can be in slow motion, but the projectiles come out at full speed. Look at how they just like don't hit my massive fucking barrier half the time. I really need to get Leaf Bracer. It's a mistake not having that right now. But I'll fix that at some point. Oh! Those are crazy when they actually land on you for once. Mashing a square. Actual frame trap, alright. Yeah, okay, I can skip that. Yeah. 
There we go. I really need a leaf bracer. That was a mistake. Oh. Bro, what was that? I guarding there? I was still like mid barrier. What was that? Is that really when the fucking iframes end? I was there's I was still very much covered in a barrier. Okay. I see how it is. How does Meteor take this long to fucking regen with five attack haste? That I, is the most flabbergasting thing right now. I can't believe that. Decent. Oh, and another one, okay. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's all the balloon damage procced. I like how this RC seemingly does nothing because it immediately recovers and starts shooting shit up your asshole immediately. Frame one. Pretty much. Look, look. Yeah, wow, energy jammer. Wow, I jammed this energy. Wow, look at all this stupid bullshit on the ground that will kill me if I land on it. That's really cool. Nice. Cinematic reaction command, I'm still getting fucking reamed by projectiles that land wherever the fuck they want on a Friday. On Tuesday, by the way. Still fucking Tuesday in most time zones. That's a lie. Only Tuesday in like three fucking time zones. I like how when I fuck up this RC, I say oops, like I'm for rapid the rapid fucking up an input. Oops. Oops. Chinese. Oops. Oh my god. Second chance, save me. Once more, save me. I really need Kira right now. Oh wait. Oh boy. I'm like a child from 1940 that's about to get like a hot dog or something at the baseball game. Why did my entire HUD just go away? Did the game just think I died or something? Get the fuck out of here. No way. Oh boy. Game fucking sucks. I, I don't know what the hell just happened. I think the game just thought I died. I really want to see that again. That was like, if you've ever seen fight cade footage of Third Strike, Street Fighter 3, you can parry the KO screen because of the rollback netcode, renders the KO, but then it realizes that you're not actually dead. So like you parry the KO screen, that's what that was. I think. I'll, I'll see it again on the VOD. Alright, I think my brain is fried. After two and a half hours of spirit grinding and then that. Normally I would try and get this ring of worlds done at least, but I uh, that's enough for me tonight. <laughs> That's a good-ish start. At least all the gr most of the grinding is out of the way. I still can't believe Spirit Roar is that fucking infrequent, but... When it does pop up, it makes up for it, so, you know. And also, that was, um... Yeah, only 20 magic. 
That would go even harder if I had relay bonus. That's what we'll have for the rest of the run after this first ring of worlds. But yeah, that's me for the night. Decent start, I want to say. Look at these spirits. We got swag like crazy. But yeah. That's it for me tonight. I'm gonna toss you guys over to Shib. He is playing Lethal Company with Aether. Aether. Watch both of them if you like. Right him in a while. And goodbye, YouTube. I am ending the YouTube. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. No way. Done. Multi streaming is neat. I do it every now and then. Can't complain the shiver didn't get ever give me spirit roar. Yeah, he's about to hear it. He's about to hear it. I've got it. <laughs>